The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. You did that on purpose. <laughs> Tell him. Did what? You really waited for me? Yeah, we waited for you. Always. I mean, he just hit, yeah. We just, right. just hit the record button just now. That's right. That's crazy. You playing tricks. I just spoke to you outside. What? <laughs> oh, Flip, the, Flip, we love you, and we want you to be involved in conversations with oh, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, and the best way to build chemistry is like being together. Got it. Salute. Welcome. No, welcome, <laughs> welcome, you, nigga. welcome. We was here. <laughs> you welcome. <laughs> oh, man. You try to run that little migraine line on me outside, and if you're sick, you can leave. No, nah, I'm not going to leave yet. No, I, I, I do got a headache. You want to take something? You've been getting a lot of headaches lately. There's a lot of shit going on. You might want to. Did you call a neurologist? Did you? Yeah. How, how did it go? Fixed it. Shocked him right out. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Yo. Shocked him out. You shocked the head <laughs> Now All I'm, better. Now I'm straight. Oh, man. You ain't heard me complain about headache, right? You're not complaining. You're doing it a different way. You ain't seen the behaviors that come along with the headache, too, where I be slow walking like this. You ain't seen none of that, right? I've been cool. Health is so dope, yo. <laughs> <laughs> real, them migraines, them bad migraines that make you just thank God when you don't have them. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Them shit yeah. that move your whole... When he, you, you can't even open your eyes and the shit yeah. rolling J across J your face. JR gets it a lot yeah. on, the, on make, his right side. Shit to make you want to transition up, up out of here. Oh, Angus Cloud. Mm. Yep. You seen what, mom, what mama said? I did see what his mom said, yep. React. Um, Wait, tell us what she said. Well, his mom basically... He didn't commit suicide. Yes, his mom She's said mad. that she... Why y'all keep saying that shit? <laughs> right. No, and, and Are stop, you fans gonna stop saying that he had mental health issues as a justification. Yeah. Stop gonna, using his dad. Stop all, all, that, all the shit I said. Are y'all going to apologize to Joe's supporters? Wait, what? To the supporters, oh. I guess. They were on your ass. Yeah, are y'all going to mm. apologize? Ready? He's, talking, he's breaking the phone. Oh, wait, off. they were on my ass. Yeah. What were they? Nigga, she was the queen of the, uh, of the, of the, of the sea. She was. She was Little Mermaid. Okay, so hold on one second here. The conversation morphed away from Angus and just became a general conversation about mental health and self-transitioning yeah. and all you of these symptoms, books, sis. I, cetera, no, I saw what they do. I, I, right. It's not for you. I'm just I'm talking to them niggas. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was on his ass badly. Mel yeah. cooked that topic. Y'all niggas don't know Joe. I'm like... It was on his ass. I double, triple, and quadruple down on everything I said relating to that topic. I missed all the people killing me, but if I'm passionate about that when the strangers pass, I would be like that for when my loved ones pass. Mm -hmm. If one of y'all decided to do some shit, you, you think I'm going to come in and talk about y'all mental health problems? <laughs> like, that sounds nuts to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick that time to do that. If we're not rehashing the whole thing, True. I just wanted to bring up what mom said and tap Mel mm -hmm. so she could apologize to me, but she didn't. <laughs> Actually, she, she, be she totally, she totally yeah. escaped accountability. <laughs> she be like, no it morphed it. into. That, 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 that morphed that, no. You can't she win. You were talking about him. You can't argue. You were talking about him. Yeah, she be known like, his mental health, I, I, his dad, he was no, stressed, he offed him, man. he been known as a nuthead. I did not. You said all that oh, shit. Oh, oh, you no, said no, all those no, things. No, I did not. That's not nice. And I couldn't speak to Angus Cloud because I don't know anything about him. So I know that the conversation morphed into talking about mental health generally speaking, not just about him. Could we but, it was, I but there was, about him. Williams, I didn't know anything up, about him. But there was the the assumption was made that it was a self transition. And or, that's or, and or, that's or, or that it was an overdose or whatever the case was. There was an assumption, a generalized assumption and a lot of the reason why was because he had been vocal about his mental health. The reason the why is the podcaster accountability. Mm -hmm. Y'all did that the, shit. But overdose, overdosing doesn't fall in the category of self-transitioning. It's a mistake, right? Well, I mean, that could be the way that you, you decide can, you can to self-transition. Oh, that doesn't yes. address what he's saying. He's talking about Michael K. Williams copping from his dealer trying to get high in his bathroom on a Saturday morning. Mm. Yes. Not trying That's to kill himself. About? I'm talking about does overdose. 
That's what I, that's I told y'all before where I stand. I think I don't even like calling that overdose. I call that poisoning. Because if I went to go cop this and it's cut with fentanyl and some in other my, shit that in, I wasn't shot in, before, in, in, I was poisoned. In Michael's a case, of, absolutely. He was absolutely poisoned. A lot of people that get want the fentanyl. Yeah, I know a lot of people do want, want mm-hmm. the fentanyl. And a lot of them don't. Yeah. True. Yeah. So overdosing is basically taking too much drugs at yes. one time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could Either. be accidental. Could be intentional. Yes. Okay. Rest right. in peace, Angus. Like, Angus. Um, yes. uh, Heath Ledger, the Joker from Batman. Yeah, I remember Batman. him. Okay, so that the was... The only Joker. That... Mm-hmm. Hold on, Jack Nicholson. Joker. Yeah, Jack Nicholson Jack, was fine. Oh, Jack Nicholson was fine. Joaquin Phoenix. What? Yeah. Yeah. Jack Nicholson was fine. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. 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 it's nostalgia. It's okay. nostalgia. Okay. Jack Trust Nicholson me, was fine, Joe. You know that. It's so nostalgia. That Jack shit is over. Go, with. go back and watch really? it. Really? I have gone back and watched it. He smoked that shit. It's over for that Jack shit. Jack didn't smoke it. I used to. I used to be like that. Same. I was one of those. Like, nah, it's still Jack. That's just us being old niggas hanging on to nostalgia, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm wasn't, telling you, Jack. Kill- he didn't hold a candle. It wasn't, it wasn't him. Heath, but, no, but yeah. hold on. Heath Ledger's Joker wasn't evil. Okay. That's the only Joker. All right, man. Jack Nicholson really played the Joker that was depicted in the cartoons. He he played no, him. He yeah. He played him. Like- thanks for letting me know. I know one Joker, <laughs> which is Heath Hem. Ledger. No, you're doing yeah. that because he passed yeah. away. Oh, no, 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 I was doing no, it before he, he passed away. I was no. mad he no, passed no. away because he needed that performance was due a part two. Yeah. If there was one performance you wanted to see a sequel of, it was Heath yes. Ledger's Joker. Yeah. Got it. Agreed. Not uh, Joaquin, Joaquin Woodbine, <laughs> Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix. Joaquin Woodbine. Not him. Joaquin is the one where the kids on the train kept beating him up, right? And he was sad. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The movie Joker. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Let me, wait, 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 what you about to say? That's when they kept about, taking his lunch money, his... beating him up his whole childhood, and he built up a resentment, and then got a crew together, and then tormented the city. That yes. one, yes, yeah. It's like selling Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. So what about he's like? I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. That was how he, he self transitioned. Was it was an overdose? <laughs> I mean, not intentionally though. Oh wait, mm-hmm. Joaquin is the one that he he captured Batman. Oh wait, uh, Batman wasn't in that one. No, no. it's just right? it's, it's it's I Batman guess that's the story. Wait, Batman origin. wasn't even in that. No, I it's guess origin. it's part of the origin story of Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I'm not kidding. I know. He's being an asshole. To him. I'm with him. So I'm, oh, I'm they was beefing. Oh, they, oh, oh, that's when he saved the city from the kids, right? The kids <laughs> that, the was gra- picking, that was picking on him. <laughs> the graffiti, <laughs> the stairs, though. You know the stairs. Oh. The stairs. <laughs> Jack ain't get on the stairs. He did oh, the drunken he shit did, up yeah, the stairs. Nigga. The dance. I did like and, that. Right? I did Jennifer like that. Jennifer Aniston. Oh, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Girl. <laughs> Your movie card is fucking real. Honestly, I can't. Uh, well, I was looking forward to Joker 2 with um, Lady Gaga. I'm going to see it. Except for it's going to be a musical, I heard, which. I, I, I'm still excited. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> yeah. Not as interesting to me. Yeah. But the first Joker I loved. Right. She smoked that Gucci movie. So yeah, she did. She absolutely she, smoked that Gucci all of them. Movie. But yeah, she got busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, still got to see that. Mm-hmm. Is Corey getting mugged? He might be. <laughs> Corey left some, the chair downstairs already. Money. Corey, they stepped to you with the chair. <laughs> About to crack Corey's muffin with the chair. Hi. Hello. Yeah, we on. We on. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this nigga was coming today. Yeah. How can we talk to him and not talk about do I want to stay away from that? <laughs> Should we talk we about who just walked in the No. no? Okay. Y'all so awkward. <laughs> y'all so awkward. I don't know what oh, happened. Just keep, just skip okay. Okay. Right, yeah. yeah. Ice. Yes, sir. Talk you are me. making waves, you're going viral for a tweet or an X or a thread or something that, that you sent it's out a tweet. in regards to Afro beats. Mm-hmm. What did you say? I said, I have to be the only person alive, mm-hmm. or the only person on the planet that can't stand this Afrobeast wave. Can't stand it? Yeah, I don't like it. Do you, now, before you get into this, do, like you, do you tweet this stuff for attention? No. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly clear, I'll tell you what happened. I was in a barbershop, and they had it playing. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, God, I don't want to hear I don't want to hear this. And I just had my phone in my hand. I'm just like, I, I really must be the only person. Because I know it's popular. I'm it not is. saying it's terrible. I'm not just, I just don't like it. That was it. I can't imagine so, being put in a bad mood from the Afrobeats. I don't want to hear, if, you, if it's something you don't want to hear mm-hmm. that you just, you're just not a fan of, you just don't like it. Mm-hmm. And they wasn't playing, it wasn't like a song. 
they have at, at my barbershop they do everything um they got the they play like you do youtube all day mm -hmm. so they have the giant 85 inch tv screen with the shit playing and it said afro beats playlist uh, playlist and it was like seven hours long Those so that's what they were just gonna let playlist. they were just gonna let it rock all day i guess mm -hmm. you know i'm in there as soon as they open so i'm listening and i'm just like oh my god can't wait to I, like that's just not what i want to hear so i didn't knock nobody i'm just like i don't that's not my cup of tea it's just not Afrobeat man, right? But he's not dismissive to the entire genre. If he hears something and it's cool, it's like, oh, shit, I right. He ain't Afrobeat man. But hey, I can recognize the dash. When you say it, it seemed like, yo, if it's Afrobeat, no. And that, that's how it comes off. That's what he's saying. Bro, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, don't get me, I'm not saying, oh, it's terrible, it's trash. I just don't want to hear that. I don't understand the problem with somebody saying, hey, I don't like that. I get it. It's popular. Everyone loves it. I'm not diminishing it. I'm not shitting on it. I literally said I probably am the only person. Now, we've had this talk on this pod here, so I don't want to be repetitive. We have to talk about why people don't like stuff. I don't think there's nothing wrong with somebody not liking something. But when someone gets into a conversation of why, I think you should be able to answer. And bigger than that. I don't enjoy it. And bigger than that. That's really it. Music all is supposed to make you feel, right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to, I gravitate to the music that I like. But all Afrobeat songs sound different. So I, what I've heard. Let me. Okay, so, go ahead. so if you got 100 songs, they all may not sound the same. They all, Correct. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They might have some similarities that they identify with as being quote unquote Afrobeats. Mm -hmm. But all of those songs may sound different. So I think sometimes the people have some oomph with you. Because you sound close-minded and closing off an entire genre of music and when we'll they all sound and, differently. And go out of your way to announce it. It's the combination of them both. That's why I asked. Yo, if a person can sit there and, and again, I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert, nor am I looking to become an expert in Afrobeats. If it's what I've heard so far, I don't like. If it's, if let's say it's 10 records that are played and I don't like them, I'm not going to go now say, all right, well, maybe I just ain't like those 10. Let me go listen to another 10. All right, maybe I ain't like those. Let me go listen to another. If something catch me while I'm out, it catches me. I don't, I don't, I don't play streaming, so I don't listen to playlists. I literally play the music that I want to hear at all times, whether it be my car, in the house, in my headphones. I am my own DJ. I don't let an algorithm tell me nothing. I don't go out like that no more. So I'm not in the the the, the vibey spots that's playing it to see. Because I hear people saying, "Yo, you got to see how the girls react to it." And that might be true. That was the next thing I was about. That to might bring be up true. That that, that could possibly be true. I ain't in there. It's the same thing about the Drake album. I said I don't like this. Yeah, but you got to hear it in Ibiza over here. Well, I'm not there. That may be true, but if it, it don't apply to me. I'm just saying that what I've heard, I don't like it. I, it's, it's just, I'm, again, I'm not dissing the genre at all. That's the part that gives me people. But you have been, a little bit. But you are. <laughs> By saying I got to be the only person that don't like something. Don't like it. Not liking something and dissing something are two different things. And we need to stop that. Not liking something for no reason other than I don't like it. Is, Yo, it's it music. It sounds like a It's diss. music. We've but, all heard songs. But the said, way that you're talking is not how music works. That's true. Music it, makes you feel something. And if I'm listening music, to all music varying, does that. So you can't just say, it's like saying R&B. All different R&B has all different sounds. Mm -hmm. I'm not listening to all R&B. The stuff that I hear, it might not work. True. Uh, let, let's use a genre that we not, that I'm... Country music or something. I might not know shit about country music, but if I'm at a couple places and they play a couple country songs, and I'm so like, all right, all right, so from what I'm heard, from what I've heard, that ain't really for me. I'm cool on country, but if I keep seeing everybody else trying to push country, all right, cool, y'all got it. I've I've heard stuff and I don't like it. Not saying it's all trash, and not saying it's all. I'm never calling anything trash. I didn't say nothing bad about Afrobeats. It's just that yo, I'm not really a fan. And I'm not open to being a fan. Yeah, yeah. If that's it happens, the part. it happens. That's the part. The I said I got to be only... The dismissiveness in the entire... And that's what I said. Like, country music. I'm not a country music guy. Mm -hmm. But I've heard country music slaps. Like, slaps. And I'll be like, oh, Fair. yo, I fuck with that song. That song is fire. Again, I'm not representative of the culture or the genre, but I just told y'all I went to a Kane Brown concert. That shit was fire. And my thing is this, right? Like, the same way y'all talking about country is, is reggaeton for me. Like, when reggaeton came, oh But you my know God. them ones. Oh, y'all driving me crazy. I, I, used to but, hate, I used to hate reggaeton. Now I love it. There but, was five of them, four yes, or five of them that yes, when they came that, on, yeah, yes. oh, I have that's to a good, that's a good. That's I got to respect this one, right? And past that, 
That's where'd you hear those? Uh, different places, various places, but different places. But, but that's part of my point. If I'm the places. But Ice, I'm knocking you for that too. Like that, that shouldn't be your point to me. But if you heard it I, in I the barbershop and there was a slap, if, it's still a slap. If the, in the only places or the club. that you have been, right? And I don't know where you're going, but play the music and only the music that you listen to. Then I would say, why not try to aspire to go somewhere else? Sometimes you got to be in the right place to hear the music. Right. See, I, I disagree with that. I think that I've been in places. I could be in a fucking bodega, and a slap is a slap. But, like, let me give you an example. Parks' is engineering on this pod is a different level. So That's I can cool. hear a song cool. on this. <laughs> <laughs> so I can hear the no, words. No clearly. raises. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, so I could be here, and the song will sound totally different than it would in my car. Mm-hmm. But if I heard it in my car and it was a slap, or if I heard it here and it was a slap, a slap is a slap. I, don't, I could be in a barbershop and some shit could catch me sonically and I'd be like, oh, damn. damn. I'd be in the barbershop. Like I said, I go to a Dominican barbershop. Mm-hmm. Nine times out of ten, I, they're playing music. I don't know what they saying. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about it. And that shit be going. Does it's your been, girl like Afrobeats? No. And it's been times where I've literally pulled out the Shazam shit to say, yo, what the fuck is this? I know y'all rocking the reggaeton and I don't. I know, it's, I know y'all deep. What's wrong with me just not saying, yo, I don't fuck with that? When I say that, I have to know that it's coming. That it's on the way. Okay, two things. So if I didn't want that, two things. Like, I don't fuck with the wrestling niggas no more. I used to come on every party, that shit is fake. <laughs> Why are you saying that? <laughs> There's two things with that. Let me answer your question. Oh, One, my tweets hey, are usually just up. my thoughts. Me That's up. it. That was a thought that occurred to me while I'm sitting in the barbershop. That's one. And that just so happened to go viral. I don't care about viral. I don't look for viral. I don't even know that it went viral. I just know that people keep t- tagging me with shit. Pause. I don't go looking at analytics and how much did I don't care about that shit. Flip, you, I swear you, you to God. I don't know about viral when I look at the analytics. Um, Dog, yes. I got another tweet they on my ass about about the Tory Lane shit. There we go. So it's 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 a combination. Oh, so you want to tear? You want to tear? <laughs> what I'm trying to tell Stirring you is shit I'm, I'm not still looking sharing for this some shit. thoughts. So why share it publicly if you don't if you don't want people to react to it? I didn't. You're missing. I never said I don't want. I said so I'm not want looking to react for to it. it. Hey Flip, let me talk. Just ask let me talk. So you want let me the reaction? You gonna yes. let me talk or no? Now y'all think that they friendlier when I'm not here. Yeah, I'm listening, bro. No, it's because you're trying me. to you're trying to shape it like I'm saying something, and I can use my words if you let See, me. They could have fought when I wasn't here. <laughs> you, want me, you want me to? You want me? You want to allow me to finish? They did that for you. Shit. You want me to answer that question? Are you going to allow me to finish? Yes or no? No, I'm not. Okay, then great. Why would you ask a question? Talk. I can't. I'm because nigga, I'm talking. trying to talk, and you keep yeah, interrupting. Yo, so what you're saying is this? No, you're saying that. No, you are saying this. I'm telling you that when I put a thought out, I'm not. Damn, I wish they did. Love you. When I put a thought out. I don't care what happens after that. It's just a Got thought. Got it. I don't sit here and say, oh, they, this going to get them. Oh, this this going to be the one. No, I'm saying what I think. Some of us don't chase that shit. Is that it's a shot? Just, I'm saying what I shot? think. Is that a shot of somebody? I'm not saying you. Not I'm shot. never shot? shooting at you, but it was ever. You. <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> My brother, I love you. I, I love you, too. When, nigga, when niggas but from I like the hood have... say, some of us, <laughs> the, the shot is coming. Yeah, the shot, yeah. <laughs> some, <laughs> when the hood I, niggas say, some of us don't, yo, some of us don't do I'm not, those people, I'm not a hood nigga though. <laughs> that's the shot. I'm not a hood nigga, so that don't apply to nah, me. Nah, but you be around with niggas. So? That don't apply to me. And you and your aim is pretty accurate, so we gotta be careful. And if I you was and, and why you ain't shoot, just though. get How up in the barbershop and shoot. say, hey yo, dog, turn this shit on. this. <laughs> I wanna hear this shit while I get my baldy. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, Newark niggas, man. Why you ain't do that? I'm supposed to say that to the nigga that's lining my beard up with the blade that put that on, and that's what he want to hear. No, nigga, you can play whatever you want. That's a fact. True. Whatever gives you inspiration. Whatever huh? you want to play, you that's do real. it. I sit here and shut the fuck up so you don't fuck me up. I feel like you gotta hear this shit. If the right day party or brunch or something is gonna change your outlook on on Afro beats. People hate the shit that I listen to. I don't let that change me. I don't care. Mm. Yo, I shoot the only nigga that listen to this. I just so you're like music re- rebel. He is. He is. That's and how it. am I a music really rebel when I listen to this down. popular shit? That's what it boils shit. down to. Ice is a music rebel. That's bullshit. I'm not a music rebel. I just don't chase Look what's at your popular. Stance right now. You just <laughs> dog. Yeah. You in music rebel stance, even talking to me. Yo, I'm not a music rebel. Park I said it too. I don't care if everybody in this room said it. Don't make it true. <laughs> You're an opinion rebel Y'all too. can't define me. I'm then not why, a music then why'd you say it? You said it. I'm, no, you I, tweeted it. 
I said I'm speaking my thoughts. That's what I use my Twitter for. I get my thoughts off. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm thinking at the time. As you should. That's what my Twitter's for. I'm from old Twitter where we just said what we was thinking. You're my speech. You're my man. Speak. But do you know, because you are from old Twitter and you know the characteristics of Twitter, that when you say certain shit, here comes the backlash. You that, know that, that is, that is coming. Here comes the that, rebel that could part. Happen. Here comes now, the rebel part. Hold on. You just that, unlocked the rebel. No, that could happen. But you know what? I also know with Twitter, I could do this and not give a fuck because it's not real life. All right? I, could, I put my thought out there. Y'all can say whatever you want about my thought. You can. There's a lot of people that agree, too. In my mentions, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't like that shit either. So what? I'm saying what I think. I don't care. I, well, anytime I ever give a take or an opinion, I don't need nobody to agree with me or disagree with me. It's mine. I stand on it. It's what I think. That's it. All that internet shit, yo, they on your ass. When y'all come in here, yo, they on your ass about this. What do I say every time? I don't care. I'm not looking for it. I'm not trying to get it. Who? It don't change who I am. I'm saying what I think. Whoever don't like it, that's cool. Whoever loves it, that's cool. I'm just me. Certain things I like, certain things. Y'all killed me. Y'all, you listen to his Pooh Shiesty and all this other shit. Guess what? I still, when I get in the car, I'm probably going to play Pooh Shiesty when I leave here. <laughs> or Vaughn or some niggas that done shot some niggas. I like that, allegedly. <laughs> no, no, them niggas did that. <laughs> yeah. No, they did. I watched that. No, oh, he did that. But that's just what I choose to listen to. Got you. I don't knock nobody who hate it. It's people, oh, all you listen to is this. So? Is this thing in? Yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Sure. Yeah, bring, more you people should be comfortable time. just you being fight. yourself. <laughs> that shit ain't playing. There you go. Listen to their music and shit. And there's a lot of people I don't know that I listen to their music and shit. And if I knew them, I probably wouldn't fucking like them. I listen to a lot of music. And there's no way I would be best friends with every fucking person that I listen to their fucking music. Do you understand? Like, not trying to be, like, aggressive towards you, but, like, I am because I'm upset with you. But, like, do you understand what I'm saying? Amongst all the anger. Like, you're such a fucking idiot. I'm not your friend. I make fucking music and you like it. And if you don't, cool, great. I don't give a shit. Oh, uh, it's Doja probably. Oh, it's definitely I'm not doing Doja it right away. That's who this is talking. I'm doing it because it's fun. Queen. Now fucking hop off my cock, you Philistine piece of shit. No one fucking cares. Bye, pussy bitch. God damn. That's You're how she idiot. talks? I don't care if you like That's how y'all got this little lady bug shit bitch walking around talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part that told me that you it said was lady was. bug shape. I'm looking at the lady. Let me see. I, I'm see. Yeah, I don't really this is the part looked. that told me that like she's well within her right, right, to talk to fans like that. No, nobody said that. Oh man, I'm gonna start taping this part. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely ain't said that though. Because I don't feel like that. That's so what you got through me under the bus. We're going to start recording this pod one day. <laughs> Y'all words going to be taped. <laughs> Might be able to go somewhere. I still say she don't owe them shit, man. I, I, that was, I said that. She don't owe them shit. Now they just pushing her and she going to push back. And I don't think that's smart from a business standpoint. But on a personal side, she's right. But, on a, but you're, again, you're trying to be a business. You can alienate your fans. You can fuck your career up, et cetera. And like I told y'all, hey, when that if and when that happens, don't go begging to them. That's all. Stand on it. This is how I felt. Fuck y'all. If you left, you left. You just got to be willing to take whatever comes with those type of statements. I want to stop until Mel and Ange put their phones away. No, I was looking, I was looking I, up no, Doja Cat to same. see if she looked like a fucking ladybug. <laughs> and I'm looking like, yo, she look all right to me. I don't really know what she looks like. Oh, well, let me show you. Uh, oh, I know what picture. I literally I was looking for you. a picture. Uh, I hate Joe. I'm the one with, with the bumps on her forehead. <laughs> I know what he. Yeah, the picture she put out. I know it. She put this picture out. So we are gonna knock her for but we it praise Keith. Never mind. Go ahead. Trap. You got it. A thirst trap. <laughs> she um, her hair is very, cut very close. It's pink right now. Actually, Doja Cat's not even that important. We do have important things mm -hmm. to talk about. We'll, yeah. we'll do, I'll show you before you leave. Well, I'll show you before no, show you leave. Show him. I just like him. I just like him. I know. I think he would like Ivory Beats. <laughs> did you like when Drake did Afrobeat shit? No. 
You like like one dance and shit like that? Yeah. I like one dance controller. Mm. Mm. It's cool. Yeah. I fuck with controller. Like when Tori controller did controller. Fire. I love when Tori did it better. So you me. like when the whites do Afro beats called controller? I said I, 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 said I, I like when Tori did it the most. <laughs> Like yo, see, Chris is my favorite artist. I skipped the Afrobeats record on on his album. I just don't like it. It just I'm an R and B cool, but I don't it ain't enough drum or something in it for me. It just don't hit right for me. It's all drum. It's just too. <laughs> it ain't it ain't the it ain't the nigga. You a, you a musician? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, don't, call yeah, don't, don't, don't call him. Don't call him nigga. You nigga is a universally term. Universally well, uh, term. Oh yeah, true. Uh, come on now. I'm just trying to get at you. I, I know you that. are. You've been trying. <laughs> My man. I don't know why, though. Because you're Jamaican. Allegedly. And on top of that, like it's like you shine away from where we come from, bro. That's we, the I come from Nork. I don't come from Jamaica. Ice, come on, bro. It's all right. I, I, I would have spent a week with why you. Why are you rebelling reggae. against Jamaica? I'm not rebelling, but you can't. He's telling <laughs> me where we re- come from. I'm telling you where I, I come from. I'm listening to reggae for one week straight. No, you won't. I'm, I'm asking you to do that. N- hell no. You get paid for it. <laughs> You get no, paid to do it. No, no. Oh, you want to do? Oh, not for, not, music is that important to me? No, I'm not. I can't. So listen you to you turn down money? Yeah. <laughs> get this fucking act out of here. Get this stick the fuck so, out of here. So, if somebody pay you to listen to reggae for a week, it's gonna have to be a lot. I won't of money. do it because okay. I'm out of here. It has to be, like it has to be a lot of money. I like reggae. Oh, okay. Listening to it for a week straight and I can't hear nothing else that I want to hear. No, it has to be a lot of money. Music, literally, for the minute I wake up, unless I'm working when I go, I'm listening to music. Absolutely. So no, I'm not gonna sit here and listen to something so that's not a lot my of money. favorite. My yeah, man, I just crazy. I love this nigga. Hey, you Afrobeat <laughs> artists, y'all got to go get caught up in a few Ricos and come back to us. <laughs> come on. No, oh my God, oh, shit. <laughs> that's a joke. By the way, this nigga's here, man. RP DJ Casper. Yeah. Yep. Rest in peace. You know the greatest with them. RP. <laughs> <laughs> You just got that shit real quick. <laughs> Threw that out there. <laughs> hey, lead a, hey, lead a riff to somebody else. <laughs> nigga just, <laughs> rest in peace this nigga. God damn. Maybe people just don't know how to send people off when they go. How you supposed to rest in peace to DJ Casper, man? <laughs> okay, you added a man. <laughs> you put the soft voice on. <laughs> Mel. Yeah. Yes. Let's fight. Oh, God. About what? What do you let's, want to fight about? Let's fight. Come okay. on. Let's fight about can autism be prayed up out of be prayed up out of oh it. Well, God. there just happened to be a clip in which there's a pastor who feels like she can pray the autism and ADHD away from a little boy. Can I play it? Please. I saw okay, that, yeah. I saw. Thank you. You gonna play this nutcase chick. <laughs> We call it is ADHD. All right, see. Right now in the Just that Ma'am, you cannot pray away ADHD and you can't. Look where Mel gets her news from. <laughs> Look at Mel. It was everywhere, so, mm. yeah. Wait, that was it? That's what you played? No. <laughs> you played the lady that you watch? Hey, yo. I played, yo, I played Y'all played getting your one. news you from played reaction the, video. the reaction <laughs> video. Yo, yo, and that Whoops. right there. Whoops. Look, that, Whoops. You done with the couple of core? No, I, go, I don't have the actual clip. I thought I saved it. That's fine. We can, we still, can still talk we can still about, about it. I can find it. It's fine. No, don't worry, you, you, no, don't yo, you've been we fired the, from the rumor <laughs> report. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been dropping we got, the ball. We got the gist of it. Okay. Well, basically, this pastor was, you know, putting her hands on the kid and yeah, praying it out of praying. Him. They've been doing this for ever, forever, for ages. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So you know. Ice, you come from a super religious background. We don't know whoa, whoa, where whoa, Ice comes no, from. <laughs> Jamaica, Newark. We don't know nothing. He, you said it! All right. I, I come from a super <laughs> religious keep, background. Yeah. Keep okay, yeah. great. Stop confusing us. We don't look alike. You no, too. You said about, that too. I, no, said we, that. See you on church every Sunday, Ice. Okay, so I want to know, have you guys ever experienced or witnessed those kinds of miracles before? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Hey, Mel. No. Mm. Has they anybody, were, like, ever, you know, been in a wheelchair with a walker and then they suddenly start, like... Mel, is that the question for this topic? Uh, You're going to safe them out? Do y'all think that that shit can be prayed out of you? That's literally what no. I'm asking. No, I'll answer, okay. but I'm, I, you know... Okay. Uh, ish, do you they think already, so? Anytime I speak on religion, so. Ish. Now, you, you all are under fire for your religious takes. We are. Who is? You all are... Every, you all. Who's you all? 
Now we gotta bring it down. Now we gotta bring it down. Corey, go get the Chinese food, man. Bring some Chinese food over here. Why? Why are we on the fire? Because we said that the Bible had contradictory statements. I never said that shit. Y'all said that. I didn't say that shit either. I did. I did. Give me five, man. I, I did. did. I you don't did. believe it. You don't believe in that. Why you? Hey, can you never talk about it? Nigga, get on the mic and talk about it for real, nigga. You muscle head ass nigga. You want to no. be a muscle behind the scenes? Y'all <laughs> you never want to talk about it. Talk about it for real. We had I'm on Lo- the mic, Paul. We had Loon up here. You ain't talking about that shit. Yeah, nigga, you talking behind the scenes. Fuck behind the scenes. I'm tired of that shit up here, nigga. Yeah. Talk. <laughs> get on camera and talk, nigga. You don't believe in the Bible. Talk. <laughs> So they can hear. They fucking attacking us. Y'all are under attack for your religious conversation that you had. Yes. I'm only excluding myself from that because I made it very clear that I don't know shit about none of that shit. I don't know anything about the Bible either. either. I read it as a kid. I I went to... I don't know. Do y'all think... (laughs) It's like family feud. I'm going to hit the bus as soon as you ask the fucking question. Do y'all think... That things such as autism can be prayed out of young children. Show me hell no. Number one answer. No, bro. No, no. You can't pray that shit out of nobody, man. No. I'm going to go speak for me. What do you feel? I think that... um, I don't want to make it specific to autism, but I definitely believe that there are people um, Bro we can't have That's why we can't have Real conversations here Because this shit Turned into a joke It's because you're Taking your time Yeah nigga I'm trying you're to Formulate a- my words I ain't off the cuff Like you I ain't jumping up Why are you attacking me Nigga the Bible ass Are you talking to me Wait, I didn't attack nah, you nigga you say, Yo, you not, What's up with you niggas today I'm not today, attacking you <laughs> I'm not you attacking say, Yo, you I'm niggas I'm taking long To put my words I'm, I'm trying just to saying Like nigga do you sentence. believe Do you believe If y'all keep fighting They gonna blame me It is your fault Nigga you brought the topic up And you started off with I did not bring the topic up You started it off Topic. <laughs> it's Mel's, <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> I like it. I do. Booty, nigga. No. I do. Okay. I, I want to know. I want to hear what my man got to say. Yeah, I, I was about to say, Ish, you have the floor. You're right. We will not interrupt you. I believe that there are people in the world that are capable of healing other people's ailments. Yes, I believe that. But what? <laughs> I agree with you. See, that's what, have a grown man conversation. Wait, no. Because you right. All right, hold on, hold on. Now, don't jump on his dick now. No, no, no. Now look at all y'all on his dick one day. all nothing. And why you want so many dap? Move your fucking little hand. Tiny ass hand. Now that you said that, can you answer Joe's question now? Which is? I'm a violent. He asked you a direct question. A yes or no? I said yes. No, you said you believe there are people that can. He said, do you believe that autism can be prayed out of children? That's and I'm telling you that I believe that whether via prayer or whether via another medium, I believe that there are people that uh, that have are, the gift that that are gifted to take mm-hmm. an ailment away from somebody. I do believe that. So you do believe autism can be prayed out of children? I'm just trying to get that part. Yeah, you do the same thing to him I did to you, nigga. Oh, <laughs> stop! See, yeah, don't don't, do don't feel good, does it? <laughs> stop, Ice. I agree with Ish, by the way. I'm with him. That sir, certain people have. Healing Gifts, abilities, healing powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe in that. So th- let me ask you a question. You so, believe in Jesus? Oh, here we go. Now you're in trouble. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, can, can I can I answer a little I'm bit not, further? I believe I in a high power. I ask you one question. I believe in a high power. So, do you believe I, that what the Bible said about Jesus is possible and true? His resurrection. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. No, that's what, I'm, talk, no, I'm not okay. talking about that. Oh, it's See, I was going to ask you. So, mute mute so, up. Mute up. Talking about walking on water and shit. Turn the water to wine. You know that. I'm talking. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking to, what part are you talking about? Because you said what the Bible said about Jesus, and I was getting ready to say there's shit that I think could have happened, and there's shit that I absolutely think could not have happened. So it's a yes and a no to that. I'll clarify. The Bible tells many tales of Jesus healing sick people. Do you believe that that is possible? That part, yes. So why would you ridicule me? I don't think autism is a sickness either. We got him. Why ain't it? I'm talking about that can be prayed out of somebody. No, I don't think autism is that. You don't think autism is a sickness? You don't necessarily not be sick if you are on an autistic 
spectrum. So let me. Yes. That's kind of what I was Let me saying. start that off too, because yeah. everybody. Don't I don't want to look us. at that as a sickness. I, words mean things. Don't try to semantic. I don't words us. mean. You know what the fuck we so, say? No, I don't that's why, that's why words. I that's why I didn't necessarily address autism in itself. I yeah, I see sicknesses or whatever the case may be. I do believe that there are people that are capable of healing sick people. I, do I believe, believe that, that as there well. Are people. So I don't necessarily know if I characterize autism as a sickness. What was that pastor back in the days, the white pastor that Peter had, had the earpiece oh. and they were listening when they act like they was healing people and they had the earpiece. The news heard him. Jim Baker? One of them. One of them motherfuckers. I'm just kidding. It's a bunch of them. I, don't which one it was. I don't know. But I'm just saying, so those, like, you think they're making a mockery and taking away from the people that can actually heal? Well, I definitely believe there's a lot of people making a mockery of it and, and getting rich off of it. Got it. Okay. They got selling, the, selling hope to people is a, is a, they got the, is a big business. Is, I, I, remember, business I remember when I was yeah. younger, they, they saw Holy Water on TV. What's the, the Peter Popoff. A lot I'm of telling you, that's his name. It ain't just one nigga. The rags. All of them. Did y'all get some? You copped it? Prayer cloths. <laughs> did you get some? Oil. I'm asking, did you get it? I don't. No, I did not get it. All right. Did you get some? She used to come on late at night on fucking BET and shit. What you trying cut to went off. You asking me if I copped holy water? Name? <laughs> Actually, did you cop some holy water for the infomercials? No. Did you cop the rag? No, nigga. I got the sage stick. I'm cool. All I got to do. It. <laughs> so do you? So you, when you believe in it, it's because of what? Like, because you didn't witness it, right? You never witnessed somebody. Like, how can I put it? You didn't witness this. Yes, I don't he say did. Act. And I'm asking my man. You didn't witness He's this. He's seeing you when you first uh, this, got here. This gift. <laughs> oh, shit. And no. <laughs> he seen all the praying I did to take that so, shit so up out of you. So now I'm the violence, y'all. So that's what I'm the violence, y'all. You dumbass niggas. No. Fuck you niggas. No. Now I'm the violence, y'all. So you want to come over here? Nah, nah, nah. I got you. Nah, I got you. You a old man. I saw you, nigga. Stop playing. Shut up. See? <laughs> that hey, fun of- hey, man. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's funny. No. It's that not. making fun of religion. Uh, no, it's not funny. <laughs> I'm like, it's not. It is. It's not. They are mocking. Y'all. Ah, cast the evil eye. Stop playing. So you, you put the exorcism off of me, right? <laughs> you got that shit right about you, man, Paul. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'm, all right, I'm with Ish. All right, we've unpacked that. <laughs> what a mature bunch here. Yep. Huh? Oh, Where else oh, they going to delve that deep? Oh, shit, bro. Ish got serious when it came to that I topic. Did. I was quiet. Nah, you got serious. You I stay was here. Mad quiet. Now you going to let me get my shit off? So I can't. wasn't doing when it. When niggas start bringing, we can't quiet. have adult conversations, then they serious. Yo, the nigga asked you a question, then everybody started laughing, and they asked you again, and they started laughing. It's like, yeah, yo. it's true, because it's the way you, you took you took a while, though. It's not, you, you don't usually take a while to answer. <laughs> Nigga, that's wild age for the hoochie daddies. That's how you get it. Those are hoochie daddies. I have what? on hoochie daddy no, shorts. No, he does not. No, I don't. I'm sitting on this little ass couch at 62. I have the same shorts Flip got on. Those are those? Yes. They are. That. Oh, you guys matched. Yeah. <laughs> are you sagging? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. I'm not sagging. Am I? Look. You just well, pulled Why are you pulling your pants up? <laughs> <laughs> Those are not hoochie daddy. Those are not hoochie Those are hoochie daddy. Stop. I got a headache. Stop. We're going to stop this shit today. So why do you think you would give somebody your best fight with a headache? I'm going to bite the shit out of you, nigga. <laughs> this nigga always act like he the only nigga yeah, that's that not got true. teeth, yo. That's not true. The difference between me and you, I'm not going to stop. Listen, you know niggas get beat up. Oh, I'm going to come back the next day. Oh, we got to finish this. Ish. No, you I not. Think, I think that's, that's not, cap. I, I think you'd be out of cap. breath from the numbers game. Of course. Of course. But it's not cap. Uh, I think, I it's think cap. that's cap. I, I think, think if you test. come back the next day, you think, you'll get yo, put yo, down. Let me ask you a question, right? Never. Let me ask you a question. Make sure you stick all type of shit. Let me ask you a question. You think Earl Spitz was like, yo, I wasn't on my shit that day. I'm going to go back tomorrow. I don't know what Earl's. I'm talking about me, man. I don't know about Earl's. He's, he's, he's gonna get some more Bud Bundy up. <laughs> nah, he would have got. Listen, some Dog, people. Yeah, your fight people. game ain't just enhanced hey, yo, tremendously it's not about after enhanced. one day. I watch a lot. Do you try to tell me that you didn't come from a neighborhood where a nigga got his ass whooped and kept coming back all the time? When they put the boxers on the screen before the fight, the tail of the tape. And yeah, mm-hmm. like when they put your tail of the tape up there, it's gonna say you five what six. Two? 
No, five, See, eight, five, nine, five, your, nine. Your hands a little, your arm, your reach is like what? True. Like 10 inches. True. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. It's going to say He's five, true. fighter. Five, true. three, 10 inch five, reach. Ten. Man, you laughing? Hands <laughs> tiny and small. Now, I, I said that. Very Slay. little strength. Like you true. think. Slow that. footed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to say? No. Nah, nah, nah. That's what you're going to say? Nah. Gonna say? <laughs> Penguin toes. <laughs> Yo, I'm joking, man. Yeah, old man. niggas gonna be joking. mad. That, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm talking shit. Yeah, I'm you, talking yeah. shit. I, I'll it, take that. Ish has something for us to fight about too. Come on, pull your little doctor shit out. Did you I have? See. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> I, have too much, I have too much responsibility <laughs> here. I gotta, I gotta get food, man. I got a headache. Ish always gotta get some food or some shit. Shut up. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? Yo, you seeing it? The ship. What ship? My the SS dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gone is your days of slaving a nigga not letting them eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't do that around here. Oh, yeah. y'all gonna jump me? Yeah, you know. Oh, see, I was going somewhere else. What? See what happened with UPS, right? Ah, uh, the ice go. Mm. Well, that happened to me before UPS. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna come back here at the end of that Patreon see if it was some eatings being had. <laughs> See what y'all was up to. Everybody niggas, just go ahead and exit. Niggas, niggas was out the door. Niggas flew out. <laughs> niggas all that like they had wings. What? <laughs> nigga. Now, we have a guest in the building who is a lot. Who's how tall are you? Ice. Five, I'm five ten, Joe. <laughs> but how much you weigh? Two twenty, Joe. Actually, two eighteen. Excuse me. You lost two. I did. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. You found it back. You look no. Right? Uh, Still off. 5'10". 5'10"? Are you doing anything are you doing anything like in better shape or no? Working hard. <laughs> getting in better, that, that getting better financial uh, shape. Uh, now, I mean, our guest is a man larger in size. So maybe you should scoot over. <laughs> Melissa said you should caddy corner yourself. She said, <laughs> she said caddy corner the iPad, son. And you. No. Both of y'all get caddy cornered. I'm not, I'm not caddy cornering anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking God. <bro. laughs> <clears throat> it's just cat calling. Word. I'm like, what are you? You heard catty corner. You just start cat calling? <laughs> I was just tapping my foot, bro. No, but we heard you, but, though. Yeah, <laughs> with your mouth somehow. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, D, come on. Let, come on, let's do it. Let's get in your oh, business. Man. Come on, I need to see the accountant. Clap it up. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Y'all know who it is, huh? Ah! ah. Fuck these niggas talking about, yeah? Yeah, that's a nice watch, huh? Look, he get right to it. He don't even sit down yet and he get right into it. Nah, I mean, he shook my hand. I was like, oh, that. No, that's me. Ain't no headphones. Ain't no headphones? Nope. All right, perfect. <laughs> I don't need it. Cool. You a veteran. Hey, fucking gangsta ass niggas start looking for headphones, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, Ish, he's looking at the watch shit, too. Yeah, I'm like, all right. Well, he do that. He pocket watch everybody to come oh, in here. Man. Everybody to come in here. He trying to see how much you make right now just by this whole little shit. <laughs> oh, that's the, right. that's the World right. Series white side. Look, that's the World <laughs> Series edition hat. Hey, D, how you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good, man. Happy to be in um, New York, Jersey. This shit been lit. For real, for real. How long you been out here? I came uh, what, Friday. And I just kept extending. Mm. I still made extend. I don't want to go home. You married? <laughs> no, I ain't married. Oh, you oh. ran into one of them. <laughs> what you mean? You <laughs> nigga <laughs> ran into somebody to make the extensions. <laughs> nah, no, man. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here you working. Think it went over there to Starlets. Or, or the business might be. I know. Yeah. Business. Actually, he might be over here taking some meetings for business. Man, mm -hmm. man, come on, man. Joe, Joe was supposed to help us, man. He got us. Uh... It bugs me. <laughs> it bugs me, but it don't. When y'all when y'all first left uh, No Jumper, I'll tell the fans, WAC 100 was on my phone three seconds later. WAC calls me when he really believes in people because he knows that I got a situation and I'll help some niggas, right? So he was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's link up, let's do it. Them niggas will come over there. And I knew that y'all was going to get rocking. And I knew that was a great way to manipulate the equity that y'all built over there and just steal it. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Seen that one? I knew that. I'll tell you, since I never called Whack back to tell him, why I didn't do it 
is because my little no ad thing that I do has gotten me in a lot of trouble with other creators because that is the common way to, that's the way to make money. <coughs> so if y'all are leaving over there, right, and y'all already have built an audience, and then when I spoke to y'all, I'm like, y'all got the cameras in it. Mm -hmm. I was like, nigga, we got every camera, we got a set, we got a studio, we got, I left that conversation saying, they don't need me. They don't need me for anything. Cause I'm not about to go solicit ads and <laughs> these niggas got everything. Real shit. And sure enough, y'all hit the gate and it's been what it's been since. So I want to congratulate you for that. Yeah, thank you, Salute. man. Appreciate that. Yeah, did, 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 did all the support, did all the support, was it shocking to any of y'all? Nah, not at all. Because like a lot of the people that we know and the connections that we had, like, people been wanting to see us win. You know what I mean? Me and T-Rail and Duno's a little younger than us, but, you know, if it wasn't for hip-hop, it was for something. People mm -hmm. always told us we were good guys, so now that we join first, uh, now that we join forces and we doing our stuff now, like, everybody's just championing behind us and stuff, too, and uh, the love has just been, it's been amazing. And it feels good to see, like, your former employer burn in the, in the <laughs> burn in irrelevance. <laughs> Have to let niggas fuck his wife now and all types of shit, right? That, don't that feel good? Hey, it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. I know, it feels what great. <laughs> Yo, you gotta feel, you oh, don't want your man. former employer to start rocking when y'all leave. You want to see, you want to see some failure. And you got to I see mean, it. Yeah. You got to see some failure, man. You kind of would want that. Oh, man. I wouldn't even say failure, though. I say like a misdirection, and now we pivot into something else. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You want to feel like your loss is felt. I'm not trying to be funny, neither. Like, yo, I meant something here. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to know that I meant something here. You ain't just smooth sailing with our absence. See, but I'm, I'm one of them people, like, if I ever fucked with you, I ain't got to fuck with you no more, but I ain't going to wish you no better. I don't wish no ill will neither. Yeah, like, so I'm like, you could rock, even if you hit 70 million views next month, I, I, to me, it's still not going to be the same, you know what I'm saying, when you got a genuine person that got your back. Oh, man, clap it up real for niggas shit, being you know realer than me. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> nigga, it's realer than I. I'll tell That's you just how I'm wired, though, you know what I mean? I, if I seen them getting jumped right now, I help them, and I'll be like, you bitch-ass nigga, now go back. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am. Yeah, that's fire, though. You know them niggas would have never jumped you if I was there, nigga. <laughs> mm. I'm going to help you, sucker ass, but they wouldn't have jumped you if I was there. See, Which one of y'all felt the most hurt over the whole ordeal? Probably me. I was about to say. Yeah, to be, right? me, me for sure. I'm going to say me for sure. Because, you know, from like day one, everybody was just telling me, like, that's not your friend. Remember that? Mm. And I was looking at it more like, this is my homeboy, man. He helped change mm -hmm. my life, helped me uh, move to a new direction and shit. And I was, mm -hmm. you know, every time somebody says some culture vulture thing, anytime somebody says something bad, I was ready to go to war with him. Like, honestly. So I know my heart and my intentions and stuff like that. Like, that shit hurt when you, when you feel like you lost a brother and shit like that. Like, for real, for real. And yeah. I just hate that. It's like, got to be a white person. Because everybody say, I told you. I told you from day one and shit. I'm like, I had to learn my lesson. Not just one lesson. Multiple. Can you share some? Can you share some? Just, just in general when it come down to people. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, a, I was raised to have compassion. Even though I come from where I come from and streets and everything like that, I always like to see the, the, the best in people. Whether it's relationships, whether it's friendships and shit too. So, uh, and what I learned now was like, you can't fuck with people's potential. You got to fuck with them for who they are at the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, so later on, if they reach where they reach and they can, you know, you guys can be beneficial for each other, then that's when you rock with people. But too many times you look at somebody and you're like, you know what? I see what you can be, but most people don't want that for themselves in general. Mm. So you just got to let them be. The part for me that was most befuddling, he didn't have contracts on y'all. Nah. But I can't figure that one out for the life of me. Now, I had a lot of problems with my old crew due to contracts, but there's a contract, so there's something to fight about. Not having no contracts on none of y'all? I think that at the time, he didn't even know what things were going to become. And by the time that shit started moving and like our own personal stuff started moving, it probably would have been disrespectful to try to give us something you know, uh, less than what we will be making on our own. Once we've seen from the behind the scenes, 
like what how much is actually coming in and we getting our own ads and stuff like that too so yeah by that time but i know now oh he ain't doing that shit no more y'all started y'all started to see what was coming in behind the scenes like not not with their uh oh. not what they were making but what we were doing on our own so we like okay you know you don't know about adsense and you don't know about you know snapchat and certain people and certain brand deals and uh, once you chop the clips up and you repurpose it onto other platforms and stuff, it's a lot of fucking money. Mm -hmm. You could keep re-rocking that shit a million ways and shit. For life. So, you know, people take it as, okay, this one episode, yeah, it may make a hundred, uh, it may be a hundred thousand views, two hundred thousand views, but when you repurpose it, 20 clips and you do all the extra shit, it's, it's a lot of fucking money. Plus the advertisements until we start seeing what we was making, we like, hold up. And then when we heard it was a million a month, we was like, wait a minute. That make a that make a lot of sense, and I believe that shit. A million a month. A million a month was what? The, the well, saying like the income that was coming gotcha, in. Gotcha, 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 But gotcha. even me, I don't give a fuck about that million a month yeah, shit. I don't care about that. Like if I came in, I didn't come into the company looking for money. You know, I, they never said you about to get a dollar. I just wanted the opportunity. It was dope. I was like, you know, little white kids running up to me now. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People used to you know, big no, nigga. No, you know what I mean? Shit is, yeah, I'm mean, different, I, yo. It's different. That so is you different. know, I appreciate still to this day. Appreciate the opportunity. Um, and, and like I always told them from the get go, as long as I don't feel disrespected in any type of way, then I'm gonna be here. I don't give a fuck what you paint me. Keep it honest. The minute I yeah. feel disrespected. Damn, that nigga dropped the ball. So, mm. so the thing with the um, the uh, white supremacist dude that was like the final straw. Nah, I'm gonna keep it honest with you. It really, it really wasn't though, because um, I was one of them people that if I look at you like a friend, I'm gonna tell you about yourself. You doing some bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I didn't even know what was going on. Van Lathan called me. He was like, "Hey, you know who he had up in here?" No, oh, so whoop, he, whoop, Van, you ratted, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Van called me and told me, and then I was like, "All right, let me see." Then I did my research, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that shit ain't cool. So I was like, I'm going to go on the platform because everybody going to ask me and shit like that. I'm like, how you feel about that? Shit, I don't fuck with it. I'm, a hold, I'm holding him accountable, too. And it seems like right after that, that's when shit just... I'll ask this no question time. for everybody is, since everybody is a podcaster. Should there be limitations on the lengths you'll go to expand the audience? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because you have to keep in mind um, certain sensitivities that people have based on their walk of life. So let's take Mel, because Mel's the only female here, right? So if something, if I know something Mel has endured in her life could be traumatic, I wouldn't bring that content here for the sake of expanding the audience. You get what I'm saying? Like, Parks is the only white person here, so we joke a lot. But if Parks felt something sensitive to him, I wouldn't bring that here if I knew it would affect my man in a certain way to expand the audience. And then or, I, would, I would be sad if we had to stop making all white people jokes. No, or, or what I was going to say. <laughs> Ask him. I the first also, day I came here, I, no, I pulled him I to remember, the side and I asked I him, I said, yo, dog, I, I ain't know him. So I'm like, yo, I... He's cool. like, no, you good. I'm like, all right, cool. Or if you do but, something that would be a little sensitive... Prior to bringing it, I would have a conversation with yeah. whoever that person mm -hmm. yeah, may be. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it is something that, like you said, with, with the male example, I might talk to Mel. Hey, yo, you yeah. know, think about doing X, Y, Z. Are How you, you cool feel with about that? It? How yeah. you feel? But what if I ask Mel to stay home when I'm going to bring in the sensitive guest? That's even worse. That's, that's worse. That's worse. That's worse. Oh, is see, we in direct conflict now. No, because is it? Then, no, this, this is my thing. Because, no, why? Yeah. How is that worse? You, I'm going to tell you why. Because, yeah. because it's still a brand. You are the yes. Joe Budden podcast. You are still um, stamping your brand. So if you saying you trying to pivot, or not even pivot, but expand, expand. to include these people that could be um, harmful, rude, mean to my co-host, <laughs> it's still a thing. Whether she here that particular day or not. I... I just think it's a re, it's a respect thing at that yeah. at that point. So hold like, on, wait, wait, tell me. You so, could you could just say, hold on, but you could just say, yo, just stay home and I'm gonna do this, and then she finds out when the rest of the world finds out. Oh no, that's where it becomes like a slap to the face. That's a slap but, to the face. Yeah, that's yeah, a slap yeah, to the but face. That, but but only if you're like, <clears throat> it shouldn't be only Caucasian people, white people expanding their business by interviewing people that are 
that uh, um, what's controversial. The controversial. Controversial. Mm-hmm. Phil Donahue did it all. I always go back to these shows that I mm-hmm. watched as a kid of these people able to execute these interviews with flawlessly. These, True. With, with flawlessly without people being judged. But it yeah. comes, to, you know, like if if it's something with Mel. And I know Mel don't like it. When I'm doing the interview, I'm devil's advocate all the way. But it's yeah, a little different. It's a little different if you run a platform with black people, mostly for black people, and you bring a Nazi on your platform. Like that's so. If a black man brought the Nazi on this platform, it would be different. Yes, to speak yeah. to. Yeah. Okay, hundred yeah. percent. But bigger than that, it depends because okay. you can have an objective argument. Like Phil Donahue got. When he had on his show, let's talk about it. He would bring two separate sets yes, he of would. people. Yes, he would. So he would bring um, maybe some Black Panthers, and then over here, because they're not direct opposites, maybe some Hebrew Israelites. He'll bring over here, and then he'll bring a white sect over here, and he'll have them engage in dialogue. I'm not gonna bring somebody up here knowing that a nice percentage of our staff, this person, if they had their chance, could potentially have them hanging up on a tree. Mm. I don't look at it like that I'm, But I, I do respect What y'all saying I do understand I look at it a little bit different From the I content I'm, I'm, I'm close to you And how yeah, you feel I don't look at it like yeah, that I think the conversation yeah. Is much needed Like If you're gonna have Somebody like that Have representation Somebody that's right. Greatly suited Because mm-hmm. I was in the Nick Fuentes interview And I was I thought that I did My research enough you To did, handle yeah. that Oh you were I, there I, I, I failed completely I was trying my best I was saying shit And it was like Niggas just laughed at me You feel me I didn't know he was a part yeah. of the interview. 100%. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't familiar with who he was and yeah, what he you're stood not for. A, I wasn't equipped because I, I heard something when he was saying, like, um, black people don't jog. And I, was, I had a problem with that. And when I was trying to explain myself, they were just like, basically like, you playing the race card. This is nothing racist against this. So I was like, you know what? If I ever sit down and have a conversation with somebody, I'm going to do my due diligence, I'm going to do my research, and I'm going to make sure that I'm better equipped. I can't wing it. I tried mm-hmm. to wing that situation. Mm-hmm. So the Richard Spencer thing, I, like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit it. down with Richard Spencer unless I knew every single fact. And, and I'll tell you some stuff right now, too. Kanye was supposed to come. With, On the day with, with Nick? Was well, supposed to come with Nick. And this was maybe a month or two or three months after that. I, mean, I did research for three to four days. I probably still got the shit in my notes. I'm like, I'm gonna hit niggas with every single fact. Ain't nothing that they gonna say that's gonna be able to trump me and I'm gonna get right to the fucking hatred. So yeah. I think a lot of us that come from where we come from, we like to wing it. You know, I wing it a lot as well until you in a position like that. And so I also yeah, exper- with some I, controversial I, 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 shit. I also experienced something like that. By not doing the proper research, so I get it. I get how you know passion you become of doing research and you know being prepared for some shit like that. You have to. It's it's, it's certain topics, yo. I don't like the laughing no, shit no, no. and all that shit. I'm not with all that laughing shit. It's certain topics. You know what I'm saying? It's certain topics yeah. that are really uber 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 sensitive. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like the race topic from somebody that is on the record as being a Nazi. Is mm-hmm. that what he on the record as being? Something along or something lines. along those lines. It's like a white nationalist. My nigga, you are white really teetering. I don't want to keep it there because with the Nazi thing on a white man's platform, I do understand y'all point and who staff and especially is eighty percent black. AD's or, uh, yeah, I get black. point of view. I get that Nazi stuff aside. aside. Okay. Okay. okay, just controversial. Figures. Figures. They, mm-hmm. they tore Charlemagne up when he went and got with... Uh, Candace Owens. Candace Owens. Mm-hmm. Right? Because I don't think why are you doing that? I don't think that's bad. His argument was people with two different uh, opinions and POVs should be able to clash and debate them and have a conversation. I agree. I agree. And that's I what I understand. As black from. podcasters, if y'all take that off the table, then how are the black pos- podcasters to scale? True. No, I'm, I'm agreeing. You're, you're a thousand. I agree, yeah. honey. That was. You're right. I don't see anything wrong with that. It is fine for two people who have totally different ideologies to sit down and have a conversation. That's different from. Could we interview a pedophile? Yeah, rip that nigga up though. <laughs> Even if we ripped him up, could could I interview a pedophile if somebody ever touched my daughters? No. Hell no. And that's what, yeah. that's the fine line, because mm-hmm. you can be objective until it affects you or it has affected you. So us being young urban black men, when we walk outside every single day, not every day, but we've been 
prejudice has been uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 racial profiling happened to a lot shown of us, to us like in that. certain in certain arenas, and mm -hmm. we know that we ain't doing anything to deserve it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you have a white dude that's sitting here saying these negative things about black people, and like almost like we're less than, mm -hmm. that's a hard thing it's to be objective. Hey, yo, you know the crazy shit about it is that it's why very, is that not applying? It's, ve it's very it's very to tricky what? to hip hop and murderers. It's very tricky though where we where, where we come from though. Like I remember me even speaking to Alpo, like publicly saying I interview Alpo. I want to interview Alpo, and I got a lot of backlash from niggas that raised. Yes, me. you did. Where yes, you did. A lot of backlash online, but I stood on it. I'm not. I don't agree what Alpo did, and Rich Porter family reached out. They were extremely upset, but I don't agree. I want to know the story. I want to hear the story from him. Now, sometimes how he speaks and stuff like that, it comes from, but I'm not agreeing with him. Nigga, I'm like, that's wrong. The way my interview style was, nigga, that's wrong. You sound crazy. The NCO people from Brooklyn, they mad. I'm telling nigga, you can't do that. That's sucker shit. That's how I'm talking to him. So I, I thought that that would be okay. Like, okay, Flip is not really, I'm not agreeing, but people look at things from a different perspective. Yeah, I stood on that. They, they look at it in that. It's like, because your platform is this, it's not that, you bringing man. this person on there, even if it is, but you calling him out saying you wrong. You you're still giving so the light. Give him, it's not the light yeah, but he can get a shine anywhere else. That's what I'm saying. So what? Say so let him. So what? See? Let him. Where let you him. from and how you was raised, you got to stand on the principles that made flip flip. Somebody, and this is no shot, I fuck with academics. Academics don't have a street bone in his body. So leave that interview for academics to interview Alpo. You come from something different and you know how in your brain rats are supposed to be treated. Mm -hmm. So now you are going okay. against your principles to interview a rat for well, some I'm, fucking writing. Well, I'm, See, yes, I'm, I'm with you, Connor, because I'm from the streets. And I look at it now, but like Joe said, it's like if you want to expand your business, True. you got to do things that are not... That that stigma of us not doing this and talking to these people and doing that, all that at, shit does is it, hold us back. It does. It keeps us at a ceiling. But sometimes you hit the roof. Like but they, sometimes we, your principles, dog, are those that you gotta. And, and I'm not saying that with everything. I'm saying a few things. So Joe said, "Yo, the pedophile thing. If I, it's okay to interview a pedophile, I said I couldn't interview them if my daughters had been affected 100%. by one." Because then it's not an objective thing for me anymore. It's subjective because I've been at the mercy of them. Yeah. So with the black white shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I, we've been at the mercy of prejudiced do, white do people. You, so it's a little. Do you different. Get the do platform you, matters too? Because like you, having you, a pedophile here, like exactly. we make jokes and have a good time here. Like having a That's pedophile true. here, we can't do you that. Can't make no jokes. Do you think That's that? Cool. that do you think that, that holds us back as black content creators? Media, I, I think, because because like if we if we watch a like like what's sixty second minutes, 60 minutes. Know, and we watch them interview murderers, nigga, mm -hmm. they they in there sitting down with motherfucker Jeffrey Dahmer talking to him or something, they just talking to him, mind. and they watching nobody nobody. I don't, and I would I would take that interview too. My like, audience yeah. tore me apart during my humans uh, series just because I hadn't talked to someone black Stupid yet. Though. That, that's dumb. Yeah, yeah, but for me, it's kind of in the same vein it's of not. this conversation. It's not. Because you interviewing people that you are picking that are odd people. Right? Well, not like, odd. No, or, you odd. I know when I say odd, I <laughs> oh. mean like in what they do for a living. If you go find a dude that climbed Mount Everest, I that's did. not. Which you did. Yeah. I know. Fine. I know. That's, I what I'm, no, that's what I'm saying. That's not a normal thing. So when I say odd, I don't mean odd as in weird. I just mean odd as in, you know, a story rare, that people have heard before. Exactly. Yeah. And you took that apart and put it together. That don't mean that, yo, I'm strictly targeting white people. I'm relating them because you, as you build an audience, your audience will, and this is, I guess, gets us back to what Doja Cat was trying to say, but you said it wrong. <laughs> your, your audience will, will assume ownership over you. Mm -hmm. So... Yes, the pedophile interview they might not like, but just the interview that they might not like, they're going to they gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. And as the content creator, you're going to have to make the decision of, am True. I making content based on me and my heart and what I'm trying to do in my soul, or am I trying to appease an audience? True. I think it's both. Hmm. Right? And I don't think I would be able to speak or to Or is the, there the value pedophile. in the content that's being created? Like, there's a lot, there's a huge... There's a a huge portion of people that, for the example of a pedophile, would look at that and say, "Why the fuck did we need that?" You know what I'm saying? What about yeah, self knowledge? What about, what about of, self of anything that you might possibly learn from somebody? I mean, I mean not, not, not learn. I'm not the yeah, but there's some other people. Stream. It's like why people. It's like people who love watching the the murder mystery docs mm -hmm. all the time. It could just be. 
I, I want to understand why this person they, thinks they the think. way they think, and mm-hmm. I may never have the opportunity to find that out. So mm-hmm. I might tune into that interview. The sad part I just about I think, hear I, what this I, I think niggas from where we from, we don't get that same grace. No, I, no, and it's fucked up. We don't get that grace, nigga. We I, like we just or don't. give it. Or give it. We don't give it either. We don't yeah. give but, it either. I think, man, that's I think it's a reason that. based on that. <laughs> Shit, because I think that how we are and what we say, like, yo, damn, I don't want to keep bringing up at. But I think that we view academics and we view whack. Mm-hmm. I never met whack. But we would view wax content and academics content differently for the same exact interview or the same exact action based on how Wack presents himself versus how academics presents himself. All right, but hold on. Is that fair? But hold on. But look, True, but, but look what Wack, look what Wack do, is doing, he, though. He was 6'9". I don't know. Wack is managing 6'9". Exactly. He set up the, the shit with him and Kodak, and he's telling people that this is strictly business. I don't fuck with the personal personally, but this is strictly business. Some people agree with that. Some people don't. Now, it all depends. So now majority of the niggas that are live on the streets right now that are... See, whack, when you start touching a certain amount of money, I think some of your ideologies change. I say it all the time. Right? I think when you start touching a certain amount Shouldn't of money... Shouldn't they? Right? Yes. Depends. Yes. On, on what you hold in your... See, nobody can tell you what to think. I'm talking about what you feel, what you think. You shouldn't compromise your moral integrity for a bag. I believe that. I, I agree mean, with look, that. I wholeheartedly believe I that. I agree with that too. I agree with that. I, you I get agree. what I'm saying? So oh, okay. if my morals and my ethics and my principles are A. Could you do a business deal tomorrow with the dude that your family had street beef with in Newark 20 years ago? It depends on what, how far it's the beef deep. went. It's deep street no, beef. No, it, de- it depends on how far the beef went. If he killed my brother, no. No. Nah. No, he didn't kill your brother. That's what I'm saying. Depends on the I'm level saying of the he beef. I'm saying he didn't kill your brother, but this is somebody oh, he that just beefed? you was just never, this yes, is somebody that's up, up for life. And that's, why, and that's why I don't like street beef sometimes that ends in death because I've seen situations where we might have beefed our whole teens and 20s and by the time the 30s came, we, we had a mutual yeah. dude. Now we cool as shit based off of one nigga saying, yo, both of y'all my niggas, y'all gonna talk. And now the talk leads to a real, genuine, organic I've seen, I've friendship. Seen, I've seen that too. Ad, can you clear up how street rules should play a part in entertainment? Because every week we get confused here. <laughs> I say, if you want to get into content creation, leave that shit out of there, because it's gonna backfire on you every time. Leave the street shit. Yeah, leave, leave the street shit alone, because every time you talk about something or you react like a real nigga, you always get crucified for it. That's a fact. And when I'm you say learning. real, you mean? I mean, like, like, like your, you. your morals and principles gotcha. are. So if you grew up the way that I grew up, it's certain shit that, that is not allowed. And if you see that and you say, hey, I don't fuck with this or this is this, people will be like, oh, basically, like, this ain't the game for you. You got to be able to see things and know, like, your corner or that small area that you grew up in, that ain't the world. It ain't representative of the and world. And people are going to watch you and comment on you and have different opinions Every time you go live and look at the analytics, you'll have people from all over the world. The way that you feel, they're like, that ain't the right way. So the universal law, you got to try to find a way to stay in the middle of that and also stick with your, your morals and principles. I, I talked to <clears throat> excuse me, I talked to a couple of dudes, street dudes, who told me in lesser words, yo, I feel like all the street shit that we grew up as with moral, that, like, that we stood on, were lies. Some of it. And a lot of people, well, I'm not going to say a lot, but the conversations we were having, it was just like, yo, the shit that I was willing to stake it all on as I've exceeded and, and, and excelled and got up to this level, it was damn near a lie. Like, what do you say to people that, like, because you're saying it's morals, but what happens when what you call is a moral, you grow up and then you look back and say, damn, maybe I was... It's, wrong, it's, less, it's less immoral. A certain way. Yeah, it's less immoral and more of a of a belief that you've held on to yeah. for a really long time. And as you get older, I feel like what happens to us or what's supposed to happen is we're supposed to in order to evolve, you have to challenge long held beliefs that you've had. That's true. Because if you think about where they came from, that might not have been yes. you know the quality places. Exactly. Exactly. True. And so, where you are now and where you came from are Two totally vastly different places. Totally different worlds. Let me give you an example. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me and you, we kids. We kids. We go to the store and we steal some shit. Candy, ice cream, mm-hmm. a bike, whatever the fuck we steal. Mm-hmm. Boom. 
They come to my house tomorrow. A bike, nigga. I'm not stealing candy with you. <laughs> you stole some candy. When you was little, nigga. We what steal bikes, uh-huh. right? Somebody recognizes me. The old light skinned dude with the curly hair. He did it, right? Mm-hmm. They come to my house. Bikes sitting right there on the motherfucking porch. Who is your friend that stole a bike with you? Those to me are principles that follow you for the rest of your life. That's not a lie, in my opinion, that was taught. That's not a construct. That's not none of that. I'm not telling that Joe was with me that stole a bike. Joe didn't get caught. Right. I'm going to stand and know I, I was by myself. Nigga. I'm with you there. Yeah, but in your gut, you know, like, nigga, I done, I done fucked over my friend. We know that. We can feel that shit. I, no, I said, I'm stand, not, I'm, not, I'm the only nigga. No, I know. I, yeah. You're going to stand on it because I don't give a fuck if you in the streets or not. If you fuck over somebody you or go. you do so something, that's why I took it off the it's going to feel that's bad. Why I took Your it conscience off the is going to fuck with you. Because some of the street shit that we were taught is bullshit. But what I'm saying 100%. is, to me, that right there, that don't have no, like, yo, not being a thief in business. Certain shit, that ain't necessarily street shit. Yeah, we might have been conducting street business, but that's not a street ethic. That's not a street moral. I think that those are some lessons that we learned as kids in the street that follow you for for your existence. Mm-hmm. AD, what did you think about Boosie's comments on the uh, Kodak Takashi feature? Boosie, he, he come from a different era. I mean, he's he's 100% right where he comes from because, you know, my OGs say the same exact thing. And niggas ask me, they like, like, I look at Kodak, I'm like, wait a minute, he got $3 million to diss a nigga on his own song? Like, it sounds like that nigga came up. Clearly didn't fuck with the nigga. Mm. It was a business transaction, and... That number keep going up every time your L.A. niggas say it. I was <laughs> just One saying, million, man. Two million, million, three million. No, this one, this one Wack told me. Wack gonna keep pushing that number up. Four. He told me that. He Wack said, gotta stop. He said three million dollars and shit like that, but, you know, and, like, I look at what homies are saying and everything like that. I see hip-hop going the route to where there's so much paperwork out there now, people are just gonna completely forget about it and just... Take shit how it is with just music. See, I ain't no street nigga, but I can't understand the brain that tells Kodak if the number's three million for the ten minute verse to not do it based on your moral compass. And my thing is, where does it stop? That's that's what I don't understand. Like like about. Kodak said the song, nigga, this is a slap. This is a slap with a rat. I ain't about to go do some other shit with him. I ain't about to go run around with him. We just made a little slap. But I think this new generation slack. don't care. I think it they ain't don't, just this generation, don't care. bro. It's no, not just in general. Thing. People don't care. Like, personally, do I give a... F- Look, I come from where I come from. Do I give a fuck about a nigga snitching on another nigga? Personally, in life, no, I got other shit going on. Do I rock with it? Fuck no. But I'm not going to go out my way how people say, oh, I'm, if I see this nigga, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna yeah. do-. You're not going to do that. You don't give a fuck That's in true. real life. I agree. I want to thank you and everybody else out there for allowing the BT Awards to happen smoothly <laughs> and without incident. You know what's crazy about that, though? I was like, to me, this was the first year that I was like, okay, it's calm. Niggas ain't even trying to fuck up nothing because I heard before that they was trying to move it, too. I'm like, damn, in a minute, we ain't going to have nothing in L.A. Mm-hmm. Money going to dry up. And even just being in New York, I'm like, well, y'all had X damn. amount of years of robbing artists. <laughs> oh no, it happens. Had a, had a run. It, listen, it happens. It still happens all the time. Mm. I ain't got some calls. I was like, damn, Habibis, man, RP Habibis. That was a that what? Was our spot. What happened to Habibis? See, Habibis gone. They shut it down. Loop. You didn't know. Did you know? I'm tapping. <laughs> <laughs> got the phone Liar. call early yeah. too, right? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? You but, I, but outside of Habibis, though. It's where the shit used to go down. So you catch you catch your favorite celebrity three four in the morning walking out of there. It was a restaurant. No, it was a hookah lounge, mm-hmm. but it was oh. damn near twenty four seven. Yeah, dope ass spot. It was a hot spot. Mm-hmm. But you know, once niggas in L A. learn where the hot spot is, gonna be. But I ain't gonna say that too because there's some N Y shit that I heard last yeah, time I was yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the little hookah shit right. Yeah, they're like, what's going yeah. pergola? <laughs> mm-hmm. They're like, nigga, don't go to pergola without without something. I'm like, shh. Mm-hmm. Same is, shit. Is that what they're saying? You can't go to Pergola without something? If I right. heard that, they've been robbing niggas wrong. for the last three years of Pergola. See? Well, I don't go to Pergola often, but I, I guess, yeah, the niggas being I'm there. I'm in there Friday. 
<laughs> I was gonna go too. I said, "Fuck it." Um, yeah, what have you done for fun since you've been out here? Honestly, I just been working. We went to um, Harbor, the club. From, uh, went to Club Harbor. Oh my god! I just been doing like a lot of podcasts and stuff. We had a pop up, uh, Big Chief, the brand, you know, cannabis brand. We came up here and we sold out, and everybody just kept calling. Come on, come on, this, come do this, come do this, come do this. So I just been out here working and moving. So that's, that's like that's how I feel when I go to L.A. Like I go to L.A. for one thing, but. Once I hit the town, yeah, and once they know you, the there. phone get to yep. ring and people know you there. And now it's like, uh, I'm gonna we'll try to see as many people it. as I can see. Get to moving and shit. I feel like we do have to do a strip club or something. Yeah, I'll stay. So I'll stay longer. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 give a reason. Give a reason. Give a reason. Look, give a reason. You gonna run into one of them right things. They gonna <laughs> extend your stay. You gonna fuck around get a condo out here. What's the matter, baby? Long here, motherfuckers. Listen, <laughs> you, <laughs> you you pick night. Any night if you stay, pick. Pick any night you want. He know the lineup. Now to see, <laughs> he know the spots, the lineup. I nice. won't want to go over there. I got, I got, I got to stay now, man. But it's funny though you said that because back in the day, my homeboy, I came out here for the first time in New York, and he went to one of them little Spanish clubs. <laughs> And he ended up he drunk conceiving, the water. He drunk conceiving the water. a baby that he day. He drunk the water. <laughs> he doesn't look at him long enough. <laughs> what? He yeah, drunked I mean, the water. Little, look at dumb, they get pregnant. Yeah, yeah. It's a little what? different. Don't make eye contact. Oh, she's nah, pregnant. She's That's pregnant. It. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Oh, <laughs> yo. I'm telling you, Bruh, I'm telling you son. Can I tell you something that happened while I was out here, though? Yeah. So, this girl, the homie, look, hey, look the homies is laughing already. <laughs> <laughs> the homies is laughing already. So the homie had called a girl a ting. And I'm like, apparently New York women don't like to be called a ting. What is that? It, a ting. T -I -N -G. Like T-I-N-G. You like, 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 know, in ting. L.A., we be like, if you a bad woman, you a ting. Right. Nigga, if you don't take that L.A. <laughs> shit, don't you come up here with that L.A. Jamaica. shit. Hey, hey and when we called a New York girl a ting, called Scarlett a ting. She threw a Frank at the stage. Hey, but that's what happened. She was like, I ain't no fucking ting. You just called Scarlett I ain't nobody's ting. Scarlett, yo. And I was I was trying to explain to her, I'm like, we saying in a good way. Nah, this ain't no good way. He trying to be funny. What the fuck is a ting? I was like, this is New York? Oh yeah, get the fuck back! Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's real. real. That shit. That's yeah. real. Uh, she hit you with the ah ah ah. He's this nigga, by the way, too. <laughs> Scarlett would have been the last woman I was. Yo, you a ting? <laughs> nah, I said a ten. <laughs> yo, look, yo, nigga. What? No, New York women. All the shit is true about how they speak. Yeah, they oh yeah, they, I didn't fuck with a couple of. You know what I'm saying? I like the aggression. With the women, that's you know what, what they be saying oh, yeah. too. Yeah, I like Makes that. Like, yo, nah, I love Hit that me shit. over the head with a vase. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Show me that you love me. That's what I like. Real love. That's God, real yeah. love, oh, right there. Man, yeah. yo, niggas be saying, yo, I love it. Nah, I love that shit. No, no, no. Mm -mm. you got it, bro. Yeah, you can have it on that. Love that shit to you in that shit. Word, <laughs> <laughs> word. You can't get out. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that man, key my car. Oh, you let me, you really do. Key your car. Man, I, 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 I had that. You want some toxic up. freak shit? Yeah, out of here, man. Just come on, you want to be tired of this shit too? I don't want to get stop, bored. Man. Yo, you like them little four eleven things too, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You want to get bit too, right? Eighty yeah. freak ass niggas. Yeah, hey, I'm man. just saying, I don't want to get bored. If it's going too smooth, I'm like, you know what? Time to shake some shit up. Oh, I'm Jesus. the same way. I, I'm about to say that. You know who that is? You know you are. You're a fucking agent of chaos. Yeah. That shield. Or that shield right there. Niggas that don't like to be bored. I don't like to be bored. Nigga, go and in a trip. relationship, shorty can get boring rather fast, uh, depending on what's going on. What's she doing? What she got going on? Nigga, go on a trip. Yeah, she too got the, oh my God, you're my everything. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, tell me, fuck you, bitch yeah. ass nigga. Like, you gotta shake this shit up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, man. I'm your everything. Yeah. Yo. Hello. Oh, what? This is crazy. Don't call me though. a ting. <laughs> a ting. Yeah. Yo, so when you go to LA, you call him a ting. That's a compliment. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because gotcha. in LA, you ain't gotta call him shit. You just gonna be able to fuck. That's it's true. Easy out there. You ain't gotta call him nothing. Yeah. What? I'm staying over here. It's a little, little different. It's a little different. The ones I hear though, I like that though. Is that a new thing in LA to nah, call a girl a thing? No, it's, we that's been some, saying it. It's a Caribbean yeah, shit too. Uh, no, that's what I was gonna say. No, it's over. no, no, but that's what I was gonna say. It's a Caribbean that's thing. That's a Caribbean thing. Ting. Yeah. That's a ting. I was gonna call Mel a ting, but I don't, I don't wanna do that. I'm okay with that. Oh, she's Caribbean. Don't fish for I'm, it. No, <laughs> I wasn't. Don't fish for it. He said he was going to call you one. Know, you know, he she, didn't. He didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody asked you what you was okay she with. I do not. I don't mind. I'm calling it a team. Do it again. I don't mind. Give me your hand. Relax. Thirsty. 
Legal, 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 legal. Actually, y'all was on to something earlier. When, when, when we interview these the, the guys, maybe Mel should leave. Maybe you should go home. That's eight. That that's super hate. That's eight. Right. <laughs> Mel should stay. She's a she's a team. She can stay. She can stay. There she goes. She saw it right now. I'm a team now. She hit him with the. I'm a team now. What? Oh man, yo. <laughs> thing, yo. What what uh, when y'all broke off to do your own thing? Mm -hmm. Was there anything that shocked you, or uh, was there anything that jumped off the page with as far as your metrics and what you were seeing now? Oh, of course. I mean, our our own personal stuff. It was already going good. Y'all shit flew. Flip was hating. Flip. <laughs> yeah, Flip I ain't was hating. We were, we was coming in doing our live stream. No, no, see, see, I'm no, glad. Come on, let's I'm talk glad. about it. I'm let's glad you said that. Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said that. No, 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 no. I'm don't glad do you said that. I never hated it. Don't do that. Are you fucking crazy? Flip, you did though, Flip. Never, nigga. I don't watch niggas. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. I don't watch niggas. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. That is a lie. This nigga's a lie and weird. I don't watch nobody. Hold on, stop. Even that weird word? Hold on. Even that weird word? Hold on. We don't like that shit in Hold LA on. either. He's you don't weird. Don't call niggas yeah, weird. Y'all don't play that. Listen, listen, listen. That's, 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 that's like calling nigga a bitch. Listen, Wait, weird? Yeah, really? You say you a listen. weirdo, you weird. It's like calling nigga a bitch. Listen, listen, hold on. Weirdo on. is a little rough. Okay. Weird, you call nigga a weirdo. That's some disrespectful how shit. Did I, how did we find out? Because I came in, I told you, hey, yo, these niggas out there in LA, fig community, I came and told you that, and they set a video. Cause I think I said that we did some shit first. We did a live stream first. I don't know nothing, but I wasn't told about you niggas. It was somebody else. Now they but, used to be in the chat, in the in the chat going yeah, crazy. Yeah, they put up the uh, oranges. Yeah, That's how yeah. we found out. Yeah, the oranges. And they put us up. I didn't know about that nigga. Found out what? I knew about them already. What's oranges? You so, knew, but I didn't. No, no, so this is what happened. Yeah. So shout out to T Rail. You feel me? T Rail was like, yeah. I want to get Joe and them attention because he had hit number one for back on fig. Shout out to back on fig on mm -hmm. the um podcast, I think, for Apple. Yeah, he did. So for for hip hop, he did. right? I remember. So when he hit number one, he's like, "Nigga, I'm number one." So I think he DM'd all you motherfuckers. <laughs> was like, "I'm number one." Okay. And then when y'all hit number one, Flip came in here like, "Nigga, we number one." Hey. Nigga, Flip. letting his nuts hang. You feel I'm me? Suppo I'm supposed hey, to. Hey, which is fun. Yeah, which is fun. But we was like, I don't know this nigga like us like that or not. <laughs> I don't, then, like, nah, I don't like, came, nah, I don't like nobody. Nah, smoke. I don't like nobody. 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 I don't like smoke. nobody. Because this nigga, you see, you just hype. Why you got me hype? Why you just hype? It's my man. I was fucking with him. Why you just hype? Why you just hype? But then you came in and you said, man, shout out to the fake. Because I found out. So everybody was like, man, Flip is good, man. No, hold on. I found out. I came to Joe. I said, yo, Joe. Some, I, it was, we was here. I said, yeah. yo, some niggas. They, what's up with the orange? They, the what's up with the oranges? Yeah. I said, it's a group of niggas that's, fire, that's getting a lot of views. <laughs> and I did that on a Wednesday. Then I came and talked to him. And he said, yo, they, he, he said, he changed. said, yo, views. you didn't know about them? I said, I did. Getting a lot of views. And then I checked my DM. Y'all niggas in there. Y'all gonna jump me and shit? 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 Y'all gonna jump me and in some time, still tapped in. <laughs> I haven't so been you knew about Habibis. Come on, and she knew. Come on, I haven't been to LA in a second, and that's largely due to how y'all are treating people out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once once the I think he was like the police chief or something. Said, yo, yo, don't come from. Don't come that's, that's the one. That's the Stay one that the did fuck it. See, I heard that when he said that. I said, oh, okay. Cool. I said. Oh, he's talking to me. <laughs> I mean, because look, you know, you got to think about this. It's never been a time in L.A. where niggas is robbing white people and the rich people. Wow. So they once found, this, yeah, once this pandemic true. money slowed up, I seen that. it was niggas in Beverly Hills with they rich and millies eating lunch. Niggas is hopping was, out, yeah. snatching their shit. So it became wear the mask. Yes. The that, mask. Shit, that shit started during the pandemic. It was during the pandemic. No, during the pandemic. Yeah. But you after, I was it there. made it even uh, crazier. <laughs> Why you took your no, yo, dog. That's that's what happened in New York. Yup. People well, wasn't question. really robbing motherfuckers in Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? Like, True. dog, you was coming outside of Cat Steak. You was coming outside mm -hmm. of PhD. You was coming outside of again Pergola. Man, they was robbing to get girls. L A T. <laughs> Fuck New York. Well, you ain't even tell me I needed a gun at Pergola. <laughs> now you want to talk you about know, New but York? Think about it. You Joe Burr. Even the Watts riots. What did the police do? They block Beverly Hills. Yeah. Off. They let us fuck our own shit up. Yeah. Back then. When I saw yeah. that shit in front of Toka Madera, I was like, holy 
fuck. That I feel like that was like the moment where we were like, oh shit, done changed. I, yeah, it changed. I, 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 man, we know you've been out there. We know you're yeah, trying it. Like, pick it up, man. Talk it up. Like, yeah, 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 Oh, man. <laughs> it's a it's a hey, I'm gonna ask you a question real quick, AD. Oh, something, something that I came across, and I brought it up a while ago. But um, you had a situation where you and China Mac had yeah. shot the fair one. Did y'all really behind the scenes? Did y'all really fight? Was it really? Did y'all really get it on, or it was just a conversation? And how did that happen? Give me. Yeah, I, what is that whole thing? At the end of the day, it was like he was mad about the food show. It was a. It was a for him. He was like, I'm standing up for New York type shit. I looked at it like, this nigga came to my city calling me out. Y'all was fucking mine. So, you know, people was hitting him and shit like that. We had a mutual friend. Um, the crazy thing about it is, I tried to keep this shit low, and I was telling motherfuckers like, this shit ain't real. I told Adam, I said, this ain't real. I told Wack, this shit ain't real, because too many people start, I didn't want to get the content off when it came down and shit like that, but we did meet up, we handled our shit, and kept right. the shit pushing. So he was upset about the food, because he had the, the Mac Eats, and you, you have a show. So, so he had Mac Eats, but he came he came to approach me, he was at a club, and he was basically like, look, you should do this, and you should do that. I told him, I was like, I'm already working on the food show. And then when it came out, he was like, ah, oh, nigga, you... Well, he didn't say nigga, but... He didn't say like, nigga, but... Okay. Yeah, like, Wait basically, second, I snatched his shit. Wait a okay. second, man. Oh, a food show? I thought it was oh shit. <laughs> Yo, come on, AD. He was standing AD, up for New York. AD, see? I was fuck with you. I was up for New York. Let me my fuck with you back. Food show, AD? I thought it was a crap. I thought you said Y'all, y'all squat, hit the squabble over a food show? Yeah. Who the fuck is trying? I'm looking. Really? I know about Mac East, but why you know, would you do that? Hey, yo, Neither of y'all are food hey, shows. So. Stop! Hey, yo, dog. <laughs> look, I'm, <laughs> look, I'm one you of them. You're not shooting no fair one with this nigga right no, now. No, Ish, that's how you get yourself in there. Stop, don't get him up. <laughs> I'm one of them people. If you, we live, in, we live in an industry that nobody do nothing to nobody. So if you call somebody out, I'm gonna be the one to give it to you if I feel. But he just called you. Know? All call outs are mandatory. But he calls if, you. if if if, if we are if we on the same level, I feel like and. You feel me like but how we you end popping up, that shit? Oh, that niggas get views but, but on this shit. how we end up fighting? <laughs> they got a food show. That's why that niggas get views. But well, they got a food show the together? The food show, bro. Yeah, Fig Muni, they got food shows. That's, that's all I know about they That's we starving. That's we starving. Mm -hmm. It was we hungry. We changed it to we starving. We starving. <laughs> you fought this nigga because he had a food show too. He had a food show first. No, he fought him because he, he started calling so him out. He called call me out. Disrespect. China Mac did have a food show first for a while. China, China Mac had a food show first. Don't he do that? I'm not all the way familiar with China Mac's brand, but every time I see him, ain't he calling somebody out? Like on the internet? Yeah, I mean, China Mac is, is, is a good guy. He's cool. To me, he's, he's cool. a good guy. Though. Yeah, he's a real good him. guy. Yeah, I fuck with China Mac. Almost I mean. all my homeboys that I'm, that I'm super close with, we done got down back in the day or something. I just couldn't believe when oh, I saw. It. I thought I thought, I thought I'm gonna be real because I thought it was some some other shit, man. And to hear about it as a fool show, I'm kind of disappointed. Both of y'all, I'm gonna call that nigga <laughs> fool <laughs> show. Because like, come on, man. We all and create if, content. And, and if I'm fighting over like some content shit, then I want to tape the fight. Exactly. I'm gonna put That's it out. More content. Yeah. I'm yeah. That's where the real money is, dude. We let Jake, lying, Jake Paul no. and all these niggas get their shit they off. They getting their shit off though. They do this shit in the Bronx, Rumble in the Bronx, I think is the name of it. I bumped into my man yeah, again outside the strip club. No, I'm telling you, because he got he got a catalog of over 500 fights. fights. That's a fact. Damn. In a like park. A, like a fight club? Yeah. Shit's ill, son. Rumble in the Bronx is ill, Rumble nigga. Rumble in the Bronx, them niggas over there is it's on YouTube? wearing up, getting together. Yes. They was no. in the building that I was yes. in. They had to kick them out. Them niggas said they had over 400 people in there one day. And, and I've been, and, and for years, right, I've been seeing it and just keeping an eye on it, saying, this could be something. And then sure enough, Floyd after retirement start fighting everybody, Jake Paul, the celebrities, is they, mm -hmm. now, now they have organized it, except for the niggas that do it. Like the niggas that actually step out there and hit a, hit a little squabble because y'all won't cut a camera on. So it would have been like the, the battle rap of fighting. Yeah. Crazy. Got you. Is there a number that you guys, any of you guys would take to fight? Anybody. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I had uh, 100%. Y years ago, years ago, due to some Twitter shit, 
right? A, like a, for a, content or fight? No, like for real. Somebody I, said, I got a bag for you. Yeah, listen, let me tell you. There's a rapper from out there where you from. We had words on the internet. And he said he wanted to run the fade. This is when, um, I forget my man's name. He used to run the celebrity boxing shit out of Philly. But he got wind of it and he was putting together another card. He was like, yo, I'll put y'all on the card if y'all down to do it. When I heard how much money they was giving for them shits, I, was, I would've took it. They was giving 250. Mm. I was offered 250 to fight Fat Boy, Ray J, Ray J, yeah. Me and Fat Boy. Are y'all saying 250K? Yeah, yeah. 250K. For sure. I'm and I, and right I, I jumped fat, right off. I was boy, like, you know, like, training like, nothing. I was like, no, give me 20 minutes. <laughs> I told him. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, 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 for the 250? You don't see this nigga? He's a big nigga. He eating the hormone chicken. All the hormone chicken. He ain't eating. Nah. You not eating Boston Market, nigga. You eating that Compton hormone, nigga. I ain't never had. I probably had Boston Market once in my life. I don't eat that shit. But why you ain't hometown? Buffet. But what happened if they offered you that? What happened? I said I was with it. He was like, "No, I really want to fight you. I'm not doing it for no money. I really want. I want to fight you." See, like, nah, get you for out of here. Get you out of here. You don't want to do it for no money. Then stop talking. And that's yeah. That's that's over. It never. I was like, "Yo, listen, get a contract. I've had I'm a few, down for that. I've had a few uh, of the companies reach out to me, but the number was low. I don't see how Ice and Flip got a higher number than me. <laughs> but who they want to fight? Was the number was low. It was a few different times, like with a few different people, and my memory is bad, but I think one was. Uh, Gilly, I think, wanted to do a versus. There was, uh, who the fuck did they want me to find? I was going back and forth with. It was a nigga I was actively beefing. I don't remember. I don't remember right now. But the number was low. It was like a buck. Now they offered me. I'm not. Them. I'm not fighting organized nowhere for a hundred thousand mm. dollars. Man, I said for two fifty, I'll go to his block and we can fight right there. I don't <laughs> care. Two fifty for sure. Two fifty. Uh, nah, it, 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 no training, just go. Nah, I mean they want us to train speak and shit like that. They want big nigga, speak for yourself. Speak for yourself, big nigga. I'm gonna take some training. No, no, I'm gonna train. Take me to the steps right. in Philly. Right. Da -da 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 -da. That's what I'm talking about. Right. That's what I'm talking about. And that's the twenty four seven. We need that. Girls gonna be watching. I ain't coming in there with this gut. Are you? Are you afraid at all now that Adam has security? What you say? <laughs> Are you? So silly, yo. I'm asking serious oh, questions. Man. Yo, shut up! I bro. saw Adam's fucking security. He was in the fucking shot. And yeah, and that's, I a, saw... that's the homie, man. Shout out to Tone, man. Wait, Adam, Dodo, you can't <laughs> hire security. That's, that's cool. That cool with the with niggas. The <laughs> Come on, Adam. Man. Man. My uncle is my uncle is still filmed there. My big homie. Oh my God! It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> that means I'm still in the building. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, it means. That's exactly what it means. That man, Adam, you better watch your fucking mouth. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta watch. You better me. chill out, I'm Adam. A, I'm afraid that's your for man, my sir? life. You, uh, you fuck with him? Yo, yeah. that's y'all yeah. new. That's y'all new street nigga line. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm afraid yeah, cool. for my life. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I ain't got no problem with him. He, you know. I don't like that slick talk, nigga. You cool with the nigga or what, AD? What's up? Listen, Wait, I said it. Cause I your man is your uncle. Your uncle. You said your uncle's up there, right? When your people's up there. Cause I told him I was like, you know, get your get your chili, do what you gotta do. That's fine. I ain't no hater. Just cause I lead don't mean everybody else gotta lead. That's fine. And then my my OG, he don't get opportunities like that. So if y'all gonna look out for him and still give him opportunities, mm. and, and I'm gonna wash my hands. My whole thing it. is, look, leave me alone. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm did he, did he ever Fire. try to call you or talk to you? Fire. Did he ever try to like, like reach two, out? Like two weeks before that shit happened, he texted me, asking me about. I forgot what the fuck he asked me about. I've been keeping it cordial. Like I said, I ain't got no hate in my heart for the guy. Mm. I don't mm. want to see him do bad. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care. I That's just want to work. My whole thing is, is if you picking at us and stuff like that, then I'm going to speak up every time. That's it. I got to give it to you, AD, man. You, you handled all this shit real mature. Like you said, the right shit in all the interviews. Mm. You're still <laughs> saying it. Like you, you. No, nah, because you, you got to understand, too, is <clears throat> they want me to look like a... Dumb hood dumb, nigga. Dumb nigga. You feel me? So if I'm if I'm saying I'm gonna fuck you up, I'm gonna make threats, then I'm not ready to take it to the next level. And the people that's watching me, why would you give somebody money and you know invest and believe in what I got going on if I can't handle myself how I'm supposed to handle sure. myself in this corporate world? That part right there was the perfect part for him to be on the phone for. I heard him. All right. 
Why would you? <laughs> why are you violating me for? Man? Nah, that's my real. man. No, we be saying, we be saying, <laughs> he be real. flipping on us when we say that to him. But nah, it's hard shit. though. It do get hard sometimes. I'd be like, it'd be a lot of shit. You be like, man, what fuck this nigga up? Not him though, but just anybody. Mm -hmm. And you be like, you know what? Is this gonna set me back, mm -hmm. or is this gonna push me forward? Yeah, I got work, kids, I got a family, I got a lot of people that's counting on me, and I'm the one person that actually has a shot at doing this shit in a major way. So I take all that responsibility on. If I got to take those bruises and do what I got to do, then I'm going to do that overall. What do the next few years in the, in the podcast space look like for you? Um, honestly, I want to cre continue it, to create new content. That was my... That was my goal when I was over there as well, too. I was like, you know what? The podcast shit is dope, but I think more outside shit would be dope. That's The food show came from that. Mm -hmm, you nice. know, and we have a, and shout out to y'all, too, because the, the improv, that shit's a good ass idea. Mm -hmm. It's just dope as fuck. And it's something that our people don't really do. We got all type of hidden talents that, oh, that may be corny to some people, so I don't even want to get out there and do mm -hmm. that shit. That's true. So you just got to break that shell and don't have that stigma for where you come from, whatever it is, stop you from being great. So, yeah, we got a lot of great ideas. I'm going to give you one right now. Nobody steal this shit. We got a show coming out called Fat Wars. I'm Tell listening. us more. Fat Wars is me, the homie, all the bigger niggas. We just going to compete against each other doing all type of challenges and shit. Flip can come do an episode. You feel me? <laughs> No, leave, me out of, leave me out of that. <laughs> leave me out of that with you, nigga. I'm not talking about flip. Both of them niggas can do an episode, too. Just say it. Leave me out of that shit. Leave me out of that shit. I need to sit down with all you niggas. All them niggas said they're going to jump me in there. I want to sit down all of them on camera, nigga. Stupid me. I thought y'all was beefing. Nah, we ain't 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 beefing. Nah, the little speed thing, and we run and see who gets the fastest time when it comes down to that. Yeah. See, yeah. niggas is Yo, laughing now. So that's a, please that's sign a, this up. This is W. We got ideas Yo, like that. Yeah. Well, that's like when you was doing the ab roller shit. Yo, Yo, leave me out I of that. Mean, Yo, leave me out of that. Please sign up. Yo, I leave watch. me out of that, man. Flip I'll... first guest, y'all. Clap it no, up for Flip. Yeah. No, what? No, I'm just being supportive. <laughs> of what? <laughs> Yo, you a trainer. No, never, never. I don't, I don't think he'll win none of the fat wars either. Yeah. I think he's going to come in last in the fat wars. Swimming. Because you're fat and they de fat look like two different fats already. <laughs> already his who, fat look like. Who's fatter though? <laughs> How much you weigh, AD? I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh, no, it's cool, mean, man. Like, Don't worry about it. This nigga ain't even fat. Don't worry about it. You turn on me for these niggas? I'm phony. <laughs> you fit immunity now, nigga? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you fuck with them niggas? Yeah, I like these niggas. I like them too, but nigga, it's me. No, I fuck, no, I fuck with them. <laughs> I watch. No, you my man's man. Nah, you my man's man. But I fuck with these niggas. I like what they're doing over there. Oh, they're they making noise. Stupid. Yeah. They're making noise. You guys got to. I ain't like one, one of them interviews. But... Yo, Reason. <laughs> Shout out to Reason. Are oh, you seen it? You seen the oh, shit? You sure oh. did. We talked about Come on, You know what's AD. crazy? Reason was supposed to go on my show, but I happened to be out here. And then he went to back on Fig. And I seen that and I was just like, ah. Back on Fig. But like if people don't know, like Top Dog, that's like a real close knit family. We've been knowing all of them for years and stuff like that too. So how they run shit, shout out to Musa, shout out to everybody. Like to me, that was perfect timing for the album. Even though I knew it was real, I think that situation is going to help him more than it hurt him anyway. Because there's a lot of like, it's a lot of support going that way towards him right now. Hey, one of y'all niggas back there is this nigga's media trainer. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga will not drop a ball. He, <laughs> he is, and he's just probably going to help him in the long run. It's a close to family. God damn. Yo, that's so funny. you with telling a nigga, yo, don't nobody know your shit. <laughs> don't nobody know none of your slaps. I mean, look. Niggas in your backyard don't know your let's, slaps. Let's keep it honest. Reason, that's my nigga. Loving to death. But I think the way the climate is when it comes down to music, how you put your shit out, you can't just do music anymore. You can't just be talented anymore. And that don't mean that you got to go do some stupid shit to go viral. But I think when people are doing these album rollouts, they want a little bit of spark to happen to get the eyes and attention on you. And I think this conversation just did that for him. Because if you didn't know his name, you would want to see why 
the president is saying this about it's, that artist, and you may listen to it and be like, you know what, this nigga's hard. He or, tripping. Or you listen. So it's a win-win situation. Either you listen and be like, yeah, they right. I see why. Or you listen. Or yeah, yeah. But yeah. either way, you, it'll, you know this yes, artist yes, now. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you think that? Do, quick question has nothing to do with it. Do you think the president listens to all the music that's on his playlist? Yeah, Musa, for sure. Oh, you so full of shit. Stop it. I'm being for reals, though. The, the way they make music and the way they do stuff over there is totally different, though. There ain't no niggas just coming to the studio and just rapping. They're like, all right, it's time to go. Like, nah, they, they will hold on to the shit. They want that shit to be sonically perfect. And I do feel you have to drop shit at the right time because you'll drop the ball if you don't. Oh, no, I meant You Barack. talking about Barack, right? I meant Barack. Barack Obama? Yeah. He ain't listening to that shit. <laughs> okay, <there we> go. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean Musa. Hey, shout out to Babyface Ray. I see Babyface Ray and Money Man on there. I see And Ice ain't Spice. No, ain't no way Barack is over here listening to Babyface Ray. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really. Unless he into that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Barack Detroit. Babyface nigga, Ray is that nigga, but no, he I don't got nigga for show for show. I don't believe it. Right. Um, but that 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 <clears throat> microwave visibility, right? Like that quick. Hey, I got a quick little moment, and now I got some heat coming. It's probably cool for the moment, right? Like that week, Janelle Monae had her titties out. We was all hey, and then. But but if Janelle Monae tits out again, no. But if Janelle Monae had her titties out, but she had three really really fire slaps that came right behind her. I like her album. Yeah, no, her, her, her album was like good, album like. but it wasn't. I'm not shitting on her. I'm just saying. But if she would have had some boom 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 right after it, then it it served its purpose. What so be, with the reason I, shit, somebody that might not have never heard of reason or don't know him, but now I go listen to his album based on the controversy, and I hear some fly shit. Boom, boom, got boom. Got a new fan now. Then, then yeah. Now, if, now, if, I, if I don't know Janelle Monae, but I just seen her titties out, you think that make me listen to her album? Might. I'm gonna watch her <laughs> movies. Listen to her album. Maybe not. If there's some okay. music background in the background of the titties, you will. Maybe if you like the music, and there was music in the background of the titties. <laughs> But we talking about albums like they was arguing over music. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's a, it's a little different. But so it you're might saying Reason should pull his titties out? Yo, no, I'm <laughs> saying yo, guys are assholes. It's funny because Reason had tweeted Janelle Monae like, "Let me use your titties for my uh, oh, press run." Did. So he actually did that. That was the first sign that let me know this album wasn't gonna go the way they thought. Mm. That one. Hey, Janelle Monae, <laughs> if you could, do you mind if? Use your tits. What? <laughs> <laughs> and Reason's coming back up here, so I'm going to say it to his face. Mm -hmm. But God damn, Reason. If y'all were artists, mm -hmm. would you want to get with a label that is like a tight-knit family? Or would you want to get with the label where y'all just the label? We're not family. We got a job to do. Family for sure. Nah, not me. How big is the label that we we? It's just a label. Say like how boutique. How many artists? Uh, let's say let's make them similar size. Ten. Let's make them similar size rosters, both labels. If you are gonna make me priority, then that's a big thing with it. What artist ever knows yeah, that you know, they if they're priority made or a not. priority? And yeah. when are they priority? There you go. Like the priorities change depending. I on think I would sure go enough. with the one that's just a label, because right. because. My like, expectations are a little lower there because now I'm just expecting you to be it's, it, just just this just to be business. That's true. Whereas if I think it's family and y'all are doing some business shit, I might take that the I'm wrong be way. Emotional because, with yeah, it. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the one. I'm that's going with just, the family because they're gonna push you to be better, even though it's gonna be oh, hard. The other one's gonna push you on that one. But mm -hmm. the other one might too because they're gonna push you to be better no, because that, it's, it's yes, business. It is. That's not the it's implication. Business. The implication here is that one will kind of just. Treat it like whatever A's and A's and B's, and mm -hmm. one is gonna treat it a little differently. And if you got a dry spill, they ain't like you know what? Let's put this nigga on the shelf and but you know get the, our, you, you know, know collect the our shit back. Is, the mm -hmm. B is the the bread, yeah, mm -hmm. that the label's mm -hmm. looking for. So they don't care about your family, they don't care about your kids. They just want profit margin. Uh huh. And that, and I'm gonna try and be as profitable as possible. I would rather have someone that cares about me and is looking for my success long term, because the reality of music is that there's not really a lot of money in it, kind of regardless. If I make them it's enough true. money, they're going to look out long term. They're going to want me there long term. Or what if you see the potential in somebody, like, you know what? You ain't going to pop in two years. You may pop in six years, and I'm going to see you all the way through this shit. Mm -hmm. But when you, it's after the six, you're going to be a monster, as opposed to, yo, you can put some shit out right now, and it'll That's be That's when you get to year five, and that artist say, yo, get the fuck away from me. You didn't do shit. I'm that person. I'll fix them contracts. 
But I mean, I guess you do have to fix the contract. Yeah. If you do see some success. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I want to say rest in peace to PMB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super sad. I, I, a lot of us, when we heard the story come out fully, a lot, many of us said, damn, not that Roscoe's. Mm -mm. Just an effort to save a life. Are there some other places in LA or Compton or anywhere that we that the people should know head on a swivel, uh, be a little more careful, and this is why you should be more careful. Anything past the 110, be on your P's and Q's. When you hit that one-on-one -on -one freeway, Hollywood way and all that, then you, it's, it's cool. It still ain't cool, but it's a little better. Cool, when bro. you hit that 110 freeway, just know, any gas station, don't stop at no gas station, don't eat over there, you know, yeah. And the 110 runs, all every all the way down. That's the whole South Central. It goes all the way down to the ninety one, and that's when you you get into Compton, and then you go to Carson, Gardena, and stuff like that. But that whole one ten freeway, yeah, that's the real LA. Mm -hmm. I hate when people come to Los Angeles and say I hate LA people. You meet niggas in Hollywood mm -hmm. that come from other places, and mm -hmm. you say these niggas is weird. Go to the 110, tap in with your people over there, and that's the real Los Angeles. And you really want to see some shit. I, I just saw somebody make that comparison just yesterday. They were like, it's the equivalent of coming to Times Square saying you seen New York. Exactly. Like, you know mm -hmm. New York. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't go to New York, mm -hmm. but you think you did. You went to the touristy spot in New York. That is not New York. Now, there they is, just said the same shit. There is some dope shit that they're trying to do right now. You know, shout out to the mayor of the Merck Park. Mm -hmm. Even though it didn't go... 100%, but the Juneteenth celebration, that was dope as hell to see so many people be in Lamar Park that's in a neighborhood where there's a lot of, you know, other stuff going on too, but they ran that as smoothly as possible. I know next year is going to be a little a little better, so there's more festivals like that, Black on a, uh, Black on a Block. Um, it's a lot of dope stuff that they're doing out that is not the clubs. That and they bring into the hood. And that's cultural, mm -hmm. gotcha. and people are going out there, and, and, and they respect it, and they're not trying to fuck it up. Gotcha. There used to be this thing where, like you said, if you're staying in Hollywood, you felt safe. But now we've seen even people getting shot over there. They was standing by the mall where Quando Man got hit, right? Mm -hmm. That was the mall. Beverly Center. Mm -hmm. Like, so some of the break-ins happening in the hills. All mm -hmm. the break-ins. They showed this one lady, yo, walking with a... Uh, 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 stroller mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she had the real big gate you know the real real tall gates and them shits open mad slow so the gate opened real real slow and as it's starting to close you see little homies jump out the car she catch her right shit. in catch her right in the house yo as she coming in the big ass gate and I'm like that's one of them neighborhoods where traditionally that's not going on that's why I want to answer there's no but they there's no way up what? though the masks. How come they keep getting that off for so long, running up in the hills and getting shit off? Because of no phone service. Lack security, or, too. Or, or the cops taking a while. Man. man, I say it all the time. That pandemic, man, it messed it up. You know, like, you couldn't find a Dior shoe anywhere when that shit was booming. Everybody was living, a, you know, crazy with their means and stuff, and they didn't want to go back to that. Yeah, they got a taste of them. They got a taste of that. Oh, I got some money now. So everybody just just trying to rob each other now. They're trying to do shit. They're trying to live their life. And it's fucked up, though, because I see what it's doing to the city now. Like, people now, they be like, ah, I don't like to go to L.A. no more. And niggas don't understand. The more you do that shit, the more motherfuckers is, is going to stay away from that shit. And it's not going to be opportunities. And even with doing podcasting, the fact that I can come to New York and do five to ten podcasts and stuff like that, we don't even have that shit in Los Angeles. Mm. Or motherfuckers that even feel safe enough to come out there yes, and just conduct some business and shit. Yeah. It's fucked up. I know it's that bad. Yo. It's bad. No, they wilding out there. They wilding. Give me, give me your thoughts on, and I hate asking uh, L.A. nigga this, because y'all views on checking in and all that shit is, I guess, different from the rest of the world. But give me your views on... Checking in when you get when you get to city, like the way you describe L.A. and, and the highway, like when if niggas don't want to go fuck with Hollywood and you want to go fuck with some of the more authentic L.A.
places, we would have to go get with a nigga like Whack or mm -hmm. fucking whoever. That would only be logical, though, no? Like, if I ain't from, if I want, if, well, that's where the conundrum lies. That's not in every checking city, in, so I that guess. ain't really logic to but a lot of niggas. But there's there's nothing Why wrong not? with checking in. People take checking in as a bad thing. Absolutely. Checking in is a good thing. It's a great thing. I love when I go to New York and when I go to Detroit and I go certain places. I got extended cousins that yep. got my back the same way I got their back when they come to my city. It's a blessing. That's how I look at Just it. Just the ability to have somebody that you can that's tap dope. in with. Out there is it's, a good thing to me. It's That's the dope. ego that make people say, "Oh, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm too it's, crazy." It's, it's the phrase, so I ain't got to check in with nobody. Like, nah, yeah. nigga, you want to expand your shit. You want to be good it's everywhere. Dog, it's mean? the wording. It's just it's hear, the wording. hearing the words checking in just makes it seem like you getting sunk. Or no, no, when you saying you have to, and people do that, that have too, they to that. mean something. Like you should want to. Like nigga, you better check. Dog, in. if I go somewhere, I don't give a fuck. If it's just for a good restaurant or a good hookah spot. It's like, yo, I'm in your town. Yeah. Yo, what's where they at? So you're not speaking to the extortion aspect that y'all created. Niggas be extorted. Hundred percent they do. But that was more. We're we just gonna be political. <laughs> that was more death row. Oh man, this nigga era. Is and it's niggas that'll still try that. But I feel like now, like you, you can't get that off the same like way. Like when y'all be saying check in or else. <laughs> niggas do that too. And that's the other thing, right? When you check in, in if it's if it's transactional, normally I know what I'm buying with my money. Sometimes these artists and entertainers is just listening to the five guys in every city that say, no, nah, trust me, son, you good where you are. Yeah, this is my block. I'm running this shit. But you don't have no nothing that say these are the people that you should be that checking. That I'm good. That's yeah. Good. What do we, you say? We know the people. It's not hard to find them. I'm saying you might know. I mean, no, like, Pretty sure somebody will point you in the right direction. It's only a few people that, that can actually protect you. And you still ain't protected. You got a better chance. Better chance. Yeah, makes sense. That, that, that's better. true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Better chance. That's true. If you come to Newark, it's certain motherfuckers that you But that's you what I'm saying. If I come to, to Jersey right up. now, and I ain't never been out there before, and I'll say, you know what, I just want to go out to the club, or I want to go to the strip club, I want to do certain things, and I don't know, I could be going to the wrong area and something to happen to me. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. But my pride and ego and be like, you know what? Let me tap in with some niggas that's from really out here and mm -hmm. shit like that and make sure I'm good because that choice that I'm going to make, they might say, oh, that's the worst place that you can fucking go. Bro, I, tell the, I told the story before. We was in the outskirts of Juliet, somewhere outside of Chicago. We stopped. We was getting something to eat. We had just, Joe just did a show. Move that mic to you. Joe had just did a show. We was out, outside of Chicago somewhere, and I got some people that I know out there tapped in with that are GDs. I get a phone call. I never even, I mean, I told them we was coming out there. They, you know, we, we was literally in and out. Did the show and left the very next morning. We stopping to get something to eat, and I nah, got a phone call. but we, I took my time. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. This nigga. I we know. left the next morning, but we were, we were slow moving around. On my around. own accord. Yeah. I know. Fuck is all right. Right. But go ahead. Nah, but we in the spot. Just some spot we just saw. We was hungry. Mm -hmm. My phone rang. Yo, y'all in such and such? Mm. One, how you know that? You know how they know. <laughs> exactly. Yo, y'all, leader. That ain't where y'all want to be, leader. Mm. Left slow. Like, but just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want Nah, nah, we right. sitting down to eat. I don't even eat. want this bacon. <laughs> nah, we sitting down to eat. But no, shit don't even but hit I'm just right. saying, just the, 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 the relationship that, that to is, be able to receive that phone call is a good thing. Indeed. Super good thing. Nah, I didn't check in, even though I told dude, yo, I'm in your city, what up? Yeah. All right, I ain't, I ain't coming out. You know, I, I know where y'all at, y'all good. That's that. So still checking in, though. That's checking so y'all believe in checking in? Yeah. I'm respecting. You wasn't here to hear the, the, the nuance. <laughs> so some people's like, yo, if you like, yo, nigga, you have to check in, then that's how I think it get misconstrued. Or um, It's a mutual respect thing, though. Yeah. If you sit there and say, I'm coming to L.A. for three or four days, you feel me? What's the deal? What's going on? Let's get in the mix or something like that. That's, that's friendly extortion. Cool. That's friendly extortion. That's not friendly extortion. That's friendly. Let me tell you something. Oh, but you about, might not have to uh -oh, give a nigga nothing. What about niggas that don't go out? No, niggas don't want to be in the mix. So I don't want to be. Why are you calling them niggas? Why are you calling them? Yeah, that's different. That's, oh, all right. 
Are oh, you talking about just going now, outside? Now, if you saying, hey, I want to go to your hood, I want to go to your block and shoot a music video. That's different. Oh, then that's, that's different. a big difference. Because <laughs> yeah, niggas course. do that. But like, hey, check it out. You either going to give us some money or you're going to have to do something for us to help us. You ain't about to just exploit our block. True. I agree with that. So that's different. I agree with that. If you come and you just like, I just want to you know, mess with some females, have a good time and do all that, man. Point me in the right direction. Or have somebody <laughs> come. Friendly extortion. That's not friendly. Yeah. But you ain't giving nigga nothing. Not all the time. Nigga, the, f- the, the female he put you on, you'll give her something and she'll give it to him, nigga. So if I call it's you. It's a chain of command. If I call you right now, I say, I'm coming back next week, man. What's, what's up? Let's go do some shit. That's friendly extortion? No, if you call, if you want to hang out with me, like your flip, I'm coming out. That's different. We talking about, like, I'm a nigga that don't go out. So when I go to a city, I'm, I'm in there. You might catch me outside. You might catch I don't, I'm not. I mean, my family I'm, I'm speaking to, but if I'm coming to somebody's neighborhood, I'll call my man, yo, I'm coming to see you. But I'm not calling a nigga. Like yo, I'm coming. To, I'm coming to uh, California. I'm coming to LA. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I'm coming to LA, and but I'm not gonna hang out with the. But nigga. you ain't but outside. See, you ain't going nowhere. Like if I go, like, like if we go somewhere, we want to know where, staying, where it's at. The hotel, where it's at? Like, you know, know nobody. Yo, it be. I told can't. everybody. Hold on, let me tell you. This nigga. <laughs> it's me. I ain't talking. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> if you scared to move out the hotel, then that's dead on the block. I'm always. It's doc. Stop. It's documentation that I'm outside. Stop it. See, they go to ego. That, it ego. It's because the problem. All us guys. This is the check-in problem all, right here. No, it's not. Why? But why you got to call it check it in? If you my man, I call you. I just you. said I was going to check in with you. No, nah, don't says, check in with me. Don't no, check in with me, nigga. You don't just check said it. That's cool. I don't, I don't, when it was L.A., you said it was friendly extortion. No, 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 no. If you, if you call... First of all, yeah, you got got if, if, I'm call, if I'm calling to, no, you don't got me. If I'm calling to hang out with, if I'm call, that's that, y'all niggas is birds. Yeah, that's that's no, birds you know, shit y'all niggas nah, doing. You know what I'm doing. Yeah. If I'm calling to we hang out it. with AD, we yeah. fucking got him. Oh, shit. If I say yo, AD, I'm coming out there I'm hanging out with you, my nigga. Let's go out to eat or something, pause and all that shit. That's different. Yo, Flip, I'm coming out there. It's the same shit. Right, hold, no, hold, hold on, hold on. checking in. That's calling my man. Hey, Flip, Flip, Flip. Let me ask you a question now. Now, if you make that same call to AD. Yeah. You are, you ain't never been to LA. True. You know he lived there, he from there. This is his backyard. You just want to know where it's at. I get it. Okay. But that's Yo, not how niggas be describing I'm it. I'm going to come out with you to make sure that you good. That's really extortion. That ain't no extortion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We go out without you. 80, and, and get out of it. No, no, look, and we go, and then we go to the club. 80, and chill. we turned up and I'm introducing you to people and you having a good time and I make sure you get to your hotel safe and I just say, hey man, see you next time I come to New York. What's wrong with that? That's different. What's the difference? You building the relationships. I mean, because you know what? I've been around it. So much watching it, watching, watching niggas come in, and, and I watched people out of pure appreciation, pure appreciation. Yo, here, hold this. I seen it with my eyes. Ill niggas, yo, hold this. Yo, good looking. I appreciate it. It's just appreciation. But I felt like in my mind, like something ain't right. They put that together. I watched the niggas I grew up around. They made that play. They knew if they made them feel that comfortable, and they know that they got it, that the first thing to do is they're going to take care of everything and look out. That's a play. Because that's a, to me, that's a play. It, 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 no, it no. is a play, son. Flip but, ain't, I, no, no, no. What he just said is true. People no. will do some shit like that, but you can see shit like that from a mile but away. But he said that people voluntarily, like, yo, They do voluntarily. No, no, no. But it's still a play. And they put a rubber band in your hand. But again, but it's still I don't a know that that's going to take place. Ish, it's still a play. Ish. It's a play, but I it's watched it. It's a play, it. but everybody ain't on that same type of shit. True. If True. we like-minded individuals and we in the same business and I want to make sure that you good, I respect you, I'll be like, hey, come on. I, I, watch, real, I watch real niggas from around the world come to New York, official niggas, and holler at, at, at Webb and them, right? It was no, nothing exchange. It's just that we, we both respect, but I'm in your city, I holler at you. When you in the city, you holler at me. Now, I'm talking about niggas like basketball players or football players that just want to be around some shit. The environment was created to make them feel as comfortable as they like. That's nothing true. gonna happen to you, nigga. You good? Nothing gonna happen, nigga. Wear that shit. Word to God, nigga. I kill a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you feel comfortable? Nigga. You walking around, nigga, bitch. That's a, that whole shit was created. Now that's something. Well, they looking for that's, that's something that's different. Wrong. No, hold on. Now you, you something different. different. No, no, I'm not. Now you not a survival now. Not, not a not a player. Feel comfortable. You three hundred million. You want you worth three hundred million. You want to come to my hood? No, no, hold on. Wait, wait. Not a player. Feel comfortable. You are. But you go walk on rose petals, nigga. You not not a not a player. Feel comfortable. And I seen it. Hey, your hole is good looking, my nigga. Like, mm-hmm. and just talk some shit. <laughs> and they didn't. So, but, but LA is a little different because 
They didn't get, that's checking in, yeah, but y'all use the word checking in. It's so it's I told you. It's the word. Word. I, I, it's the word. I just don't like I the word. Here. Shout out to my guy Bully. I'm sitting here walking the streets with niggas that's really, really from here. Ain't no nigga Salute. ask me for nothing. Salute. I right. show love. Niggas gonna show love back. Solid. We gonna keep. And, and that's, that's how you extend that family. Yeah, that's agree. how I look at like that. Because then guess what? You may have a homeboy. You may not come into town, but you may have a cousin like, hey, uh. AD is out there. You feel me? I want to make sure that he good. I'm going to say, hey, that's Flip cousin. I'm going to treat him like he my cousin. Mm. We're going like to go that. out and have the same thing. He's going to go home and be safe. Everybody he gonna don't do think the like same you, AD. AD, I ain't going to lie. You dressed it up nice, nigga. That's the suit, the tie. <laughs> well, you ironed it with the why, crease. That's you why, that's why I added a little that that I'm in. You just do that shit out there. I disagree. Huh? I disagree with you. Me? Yeah. I respect that. I mean, you know, I just think that. Going. I think that. If, if I went to LA, I'll call AD. AD, I'm, I'm be out here. All right, Flip don't go out. I don't go out to parties and shit like that. So the most I'll do is like, nigga, we gonna create content. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah. We're gonna get on something. Nah, 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 nah. No great time. Don't great time me, nigga. No. No great time. Great time. No great time me. Joe, hold me down. Joe, you know what I'm saying. We watched this, Joe. No great time me. Hope you articulated right, Joe. Horses in the chat. The show. Bring me to the show. Horses in the chat. Nah, don't bring me to no show like that. We will go to a mutual show. Y'all not bring me to y'all. Y'all just did the reason and shit. Fuck out of here. Y'all bring me that shit that chair. Yeah, in the corner like this, you're waiting. Nah, but we fuck with you though, for real. Nah, but no, I, no, you know what I'm saying? I heard that in your man's. That's in how it starts. Look, <laughs> wait, am I making a play right yo, now? Yo, let's throw the party. Yo, let's throw the party. Nah, me and all my niggas really fuck with you, though. Uh, that's, that's all right. Check we're us go. when you come out. We're going to throw you a surprise party. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> with, with your birthday. Wait, what do I got to watch? Joe say, hey, Joe say, I'm going to take y'all to the street. No, no, he's no, no. he making a play? No, 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 he's not. No, he's not. No, he don't no, 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 really mean it, though. Nah, he mean it. He mean it. Nah, nah, Joe really mean it. West Coast niggas, we don't mean it. No, y'all do mean it. So y'all going to crack the beef on me, man. No, my cousin, my cousin. I was making a play, nigga. I need you to secure me. <laughs> my cousin from LA. So I, ain't, I ain't safe in the New yeah. York strip club. Oh, <laughs> I mean, niggas showed me a lot of love when I went to LA. Like different people though. Like when I went out there, daylighted them. Like they, you know, I went out there. Daylight ended my uh, my battle rap career. <laughs> Destroyed yeah. me. I'm just Good. saying, daylight showed Still me love. Day, There's no shame in that either. By the way. Still to this day, he said a line. You wake up, you see Jesus' house. It was over after that. <laughs> I was 15. I went home at a. Swallow that pride Through your notebook In his car Yeah fuck this notebook <laughs> yeah. So nigga He's from talented though Killing everybody man. Yeah, he's, 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 There's just, no shame In daylight Being the MC To retire you 100% None, true. none at all None at all He didn't retire He retired battle rap Then I started getting into the You know what I'm saying <laughs> The club scenes And shit like that You know what I mean 80 old he's 34 34 I ain't gonna lie, you must be living a good life, nigga. I'm 30, I'm 36, nigga. I'm looking at, I'm like, he not using, I'm looking at y'all, he, he don't use no. I'm getting out the hotel, that's he not, why. I'm not, not afraid he, to oh, hang with my hey, people. Yo, watch oh, oh, I'm gonna nah. get you. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get you, nigga. Oh, oh, yeah, he ain't, he don't look like no jumper AD no more. Listen, listen. That I'm, AD might yeah, have yeah. been a little ashy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell this, you something, This nigga left, them, them niggas I don't up. believe in hanging out with niggas. Y'all niggas wanna hang out and talk about what all day, nigga? I don't wanna hang out, I hang out, go out to eat, nigga. I wanna move, nigga. I move around, I'm not hanging out. We gonna game plan. We gonna expand. What's, game, shit. what's the game plan? Go ahead. Fat Wars. You first. You the first. Episode. No, nigga. C O E. C O E. That's the trap. <laughs> nah, I mean. That's T O E. Trap over everything. <laughs> <laughs> we got some out here. T O E. I know. I go. I go. go. Push ups on concrete. Hey, yo, flip. Yeah, man. Hey, yo, flip. Meet me at this address. I come over there. I see niggas, the cameras already, I already seen this shit before. The camera's set up. Yo, what's up? What we doing? Actually, fucking, the last time I had half of a problem out there, I called Problem. Shout, Shout out to, to P. Problem. Shout out to P. Him, Glasses, those my guys. Super dope person. <laughs> No, see, look, I can't even. I, I can't even be sincere. Man. Glasses, man. Hey, Listen, glasses. Super dope people. I would not be who I am today. Glasses, one of the people that helped that's, us along. That's Glasses' story yeah. for if. Well, the new kids probably know him from trolling on the internet, but yeah, that's Glasses' story for for a lot of people. But I call a problem and problem. Sent some sent some money on through, and boy, did he hold it down. That. That person held it down. So I'm talking to Problem recently, and he's like, yo, I meant to tell you, but it slipped my mind that such and such died. Mm. Mm. Rest in peace to my, I'm not, I'm not gonna say your name because it's anonymity, but, and he was like, yeah, I just meant to tell you. And I was like, what happened? And it was more of that, that was trouble that was in the, in the crib with uh, the yeah, girl. Yeah, that was trouble. 
He said the guy left jail, went home. His girl was in there with a guy. They scrap, and the guy ended up killing him. I heard about this. Why story. do hmm. why do those stories seem to be happening more frequently? I know what you're talking about too. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said this shit was on the news and everything. What? I'm like, nigga, why the fuck? You? <laughs> yeah, Damn. I found out really late. That was my man. That was my man. I mean, what would you do if you, me personally, if I went home, I see a nigga in my crib, probably gonna get the fuck out, you feel me? Just me personally. But some people, they women is, they everything, and they feel like they yeah. lose that, then ain't, ain't worth having that life no True. more. So mm -hmm. that's why you don't play with niggas, females and shit. You but, don't do that. But to what you said, I feel the same way. If I went home and, and I was locked up and my chick was in the bed with another nigga, if I don't know the nigga, I don't hold nothing against that man. True. Because he's only doing what she allowed him to do. He's doing what he's supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? That, so that's the logic if he's my man, that's something different. But if I don't know him, dog, I'm good on you. If that's I walk a, in the that's crib a logic and, brain and, talking. and somebody nice. is in, it's a nigga in there with my girl, I'm thinking that she's under attack. <laughs> not, not, not your baby, right? No way that she would be <laughs> giving away. Not my ting. <laughs> <laughs> not him pushing no her way. head. She, my, he was pushing her head in the yeah, mattress, yo. Nah, not she my was baby. attacking her. Get off of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if my first reaction is going to be to leave. Niggas oh, no, lose it, bro. You don't, you don't leave your own house. I'm not leaving. I thought that's no. what you said you would no, do. No, he said he no, kicking he said the nigga out. Get the you, I'm going to give you And you I'm bitch get the fuck yeah. out, too. Oh, no yeah, yeah, the yeah. Oh, there we go. There we yeah, go. Yeah. No longer okay. the team. You dirty ball bitch. Ball 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 ball. Ball. <laughs> Somebody going to replace you in 48 hours. <laughs> What's the minutes you give him to leave? Because niggas be like playing. You got 30 seconds to leave. And take his time. ain't going nowhere. Then you can blow that nigga head off. Yeah. No, I, I, I gotta say, yeah, there's a chill out. Look be... where y'all take it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> then you can blow his head off. God, you, know, house, you, went, you, you went to nigga house and I gave yeah. you the courtesy of yeah, saying, just get out of here. I got my crib. That ain't the, the Jersey laws either, by the way. What? They talk about unlawful I'm, shit. But <laughs> 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 when I say, the laws well, don't when apply I said, here. Well, when I said, why would you do that? He was like, why would you? I don't know what California law is. Our shit bad too. In New Jersey, you can't even pop a nigga if they break in your house. Hmm. You go into jail. In you New Jersey, you can't, so you can't you pinch him at all. No, mm -hmm. if a nigga break in your house in New Jersey, you can't really shoot him. You got to wait for him to leave, or be <laughs> if you shoot him in the back, you go well, to jail. In, in L.A., if you shoot somebody in the back, then you going down. But I mean, if they're an intruder and you feel like your life is threatened, you can get cracking. You can let them have it. Yeah. What do you think about the brawl? In uh, Montgomery, Alabama. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it real. Yeah, no. Bruh. I seen a nigga get a tat the chair tattooed today. <laughs> you are very. Niggas is going crazy. Yeah. Let's, Let's, Let's keep it real though. Hey, y'all went to buy a chair for. I told them shit's sold out. Nigga, niggas is wild. I don't know what the fuck and going on. I bro. seen a tweet that said <laughs> people have not been this together since the Black Panther movie. That's funny, son. The first one. The first one. First one. <laughs> So for a nigga to swim and help another brother, you know what I'm saying? That nigga jumped in the water, He nigga. jumped in the water, and you know that he didn't even think about it, though, because he took his shoes off afterwards. After, After he, he got, got out. out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Chairman was going crazy. They need to sign that nigga to old. WWE deal or something. something. Sure, no. Because he, he got, got the busy. moves already. Sure, no. <laughs> he, got, he got the moves, y'all. Yeah, he and it was in Alabama, it. too, so it was like, That's the I part feel like that, a lot of racism uh, got... It no, got, that's got that ass kicked. No, they got the fixed. They've they been enduring this shit for 30, 40, 50, 100 years. Some of them people was older men. True. They got that shit out. They got that shit out. He was what? <laughs> the overhead <laughs> shit. The niggas hit him with the overhead. Like, yo, dog. The other nigga choked him. Y'all niggas. That shit might fly in the city. Good luck. Try that in a small town. See how far you make it down. I love this shit now. This I shit love is, it. This shit is a slap. Yo, dog, look at the irony. They tried that shit in a small town. They they see how far they got down the dock. Just imagine that ride home, though. Of from, everybody. From jail? Bro. No, they got, yeah, the, got the lumps oh, and shit. What? They went to jail. They went to jail. They went to jail. Oh, yeah. 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 Those niggas got us. And they shot. got it locked up. They did. They like for us. one day, like Alabama, like reversed the racism. Like Yo, I, I never crazy. thought the white people would go to jail. Word. Yeah. That. Yeah. No. The only. I think they might have only locked up chairman. 
No, <laughs> they, 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 they no. issued an, uh, a he warrant for us. Oh, they're looking for him. He's not. He should have been in jail. Chairman should be in jail. Who's the dude with the whole black on? He's the vigilante now. He's protecting us from racism. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. You got just saw the chair in the sky. Yo, Hold on, but you know the crazy thing about he hit the lady. The lady was sitting there, you know, and like I didn't know how to feel because I wasn't mad at the yo, nigga. But I'm like, oh, yo, the humanity was like, nah, I'm not the lady. But I kind of, I kind of understood. Like, I, I, I see, I, I get it. Oh, <laughs> I, I get it. I get what she did, but she didn't do shit. She was oh, like, you, you <laughs> the wrong place, wrong time. The nigga, like, yo, I, yo, the nigga walked. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> While she was sitting down, yeah. she was already sitting yeah. down. She, she was already like, done. She, she said, wasn't even, act- she wasn't yeah, even actively I'm trying to think about, about the court date. Like, I see, I'm trying to think about the court date. Like, if they got them, <laughs> and when a judge, I, I see some funny, it's, this shit ain't done. No, it ain't done. <laughs> we got to say that. they got they one. Where's though. my phone? We got to say done. that. We got to say that chair, nigga, son. They're going to ride for him. You said what? I'm gonna look. I want to see if they sentence this oh, nigga. Oh, homeboy. Oh, Troy. Troy. Hey, you, 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 you from LA? What you think? That, Tory, that was my boy, man. I'm saying what you think. Judge the numbers Ford asked prosecutors the if they're saying 13. imposing ten years instead of thirteen years would endanger public safety. What? Wait, the judge? Judge Hereford asked prosecutors if they're saying. Imposing 10 years instead of 13 years would endanger public safety. Deputy DA Kathy Ta said the 13 year sentence is appropriate. She cited that lanes wouldn't do full time under state law, only about 85%. So, 85% is <laughs> still a long time. That's what y'all doing? I knew when, I knew when they uh, read uh, Mayor's letter, I said, it's going to make it a little worse. Oh, I ain't never hear about no mayor letter. Yeah, no, she, she ten, sent a letter. 10 years. Ten years to the to the judge. Yeah, ten years. Wait, 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 ten wait. Years. He got ten years. Ten? ten years. The judge has handed down a ten year sentence for Tory Lanez. He is expected to serve eighty five percent of the time. Two minutes ago, eighty five percent. Eighty five. He been in there a minute. Been though. Been yeah, been there a year. So uh, then you get deported. Mm. Yo, yo, that's crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. That's. Should he? The plea was what? What was the plea again? They 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 dismissed two of the charges and they was gonna charge him on one of them. So he so went. We don't know the time. We don't know the time attached to that, right? Way way less. I think I think years. the only charge would have been like the reckless, the reckless firing of a firearm or some shit like that would have been the only charge that he got hit with. He would have got deported. Oh, yeah, no matter what. The, the deportation. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't, I, have I, to I don't say know why. What I just you have to say he was guilty. Though. I don't know why niggas don't put that in their stipulations. Though I always ask about that. Like, why y'all don't say can I, if I take this time, can I stay in the states? Because like, they don't give that option. No, because you're a felon. <laughs> they just now. tell you no, nigga. You're a felon now. You're an immigrant and a felon. You are out of here. Nah, I never. Like, I know a lot of niggas that got deported. They never. Oh, Ten years. Maybe. This is second felony conviction. I, I hope that he don't. Do anything to himself. I hope that that he has the mental fortitude or to yeah. get through the sentence. There was already those reports saying that he wasn't handling himself the greatest while he was in there. He was a little down on himself. God damn, that's a long time. Shit. So what's what's our we waited we waited years. We waited years to, to get this verdict. Mm. Justice served? Come on. Let's, no. Let's try to have an unbiased. <laughs> justice ain't served. It don't feel like justice, but they expect I, me to I, say that. So what do y'all think? Even though I just, when we just rec- just did the pod, I said, you know, after hearing the judge, I thought it would be different. Uh, this is kind of online what I initially thought. And I think justice is served because of the charges. Again, I'm only taking the emotion out. Like I said, when the verdict first came down, going back and actually looking at what he was charged with and how you rejected the plea, when you slap in the court's face, they're going to hit you back. That's why I originally said I thought they was going to smoke him. You're right on that part. I think, though, that um, people have made their divisions and they picked their sides. And now that this verdict is out there, it's going to be people that have conspiracy theories. People are going to be more angry. People are not going to support her. And it's going to be just, I don't feel like nobody won in this situation. Nobody, nobody won. won. Yeah. Nobody won in this situation. 
You do so you do feel like she will see some of this backlash. For sure. There's people still right now, like I don't believe it. Any Try, type of doubt when it came charges. down to that, like it was already fucked see, up. See the problem with those people, and this is what we've we've been having in, in conversation. <laughs> They're saying, Hey, he didn't shoot her. And uh, going back, read the chart. He wasn't charged with shooting her. And once that's explained to you and you look at the definitions of these charges, you kind of get a better grasp of, oh, shit, is this? Yeah, I'm going to fight Say Cheese. Oh, no, what, they, what happened? Say, say Cheese said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I man. I was just reading it. One of the 76 letters Tory Lane submitted to the judge was from a do doctor who treated him for hair loss. The doctor wrote, "Yeah, Tory Lanez has helped others in the community suffering from hair loss." He did. <laughs> no, that's the true story. He did. That's he did though. He, he did. Him and Tiger, they cracked the word. True story. They cracked he did. it off. That he was did one, that. That was one of the the letters. I ordered my hair because of them. I'm going to Turkey, man. So what, what nigga? <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> I told you. I don't know if y'all can go. Though. Wait, going, wait, 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 wait. I don't. Y'all mean I don't want to go to Turkey, nigga. <laughs> I want to get my shit. I'm. Look, I, I got willfully bald at the age of 31, 32. Bald, cut it off early. That's y'all. I didn't do that saying, hey, when they come out with some regenerative shit, I'm going to get it. I'm getting dreads next year. <laughs> See. When I say it, it's oh a problem. Oh, my God, man. Good. I want all you niggas to go get fucking... Uh, hair follicles? Hair I'm going to get the, the hair, hair BBL. Transplant. Go get it. He was charged with... Uh, I'm going to get the hair BBL, man. One count of felony um, discharging a firearm with gross negligence. That's shooting in the air. <clears throat> he was charged... Uh, that don't sound like it should be a Assault with a semi-automatic firearm. That one sounds that, bad. Yes. That one that's, sounds that's bad. Just and he was charged it. with carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in the vehicle. Yep. That one could carry some time as well. Mm. That's the first thing. Once, once we, once the verdict dropped, remember that pod. We sat here, read the actual charges, and said, "Damn, hearing this, I'm looking at his lawyer like, yo, you tell your man to take the plea." But he would have to admit guilt, and then the nah. public perception of him would be that he did it, which would, to me would fuck up his career. Even I think more. the plea would, he didn't want to get deported. So the second that you take the plea, you get deported. But I also think that I really don't. Th that very last like witness, that very last witness, the one, the man the, the, the that dude. they said they saw coming out the prosecutor's office on a sneaky tip, that was what you think they flipped him. Tip this guy. Yeah, I think they flipped him. I think that flipped him because he came out and he said, "Yo, he saw Tory Lanes um, fighting them, and he saw him busting up in the air." Right? You never put him on the stand as a part of the defense if that's his testimony. You know, that what? proves the charges. There you go. That's the case right there. You know what I'm saying? He said he saw them kicking her on the ground. Mm. Like what? Yeah, I, that, that's your star witness. Hey, Mel, how do you feel? How do you feel here. about the sentencing? Yes. Uh, what do you think the aftermath for blowback will be, if anything? Just how do you feel overall? I echo the sentiments of everybody here. I mean, like nobody wins. Exactly, nobody wins. I think that her career is is. Rock Nation's going to do what they can, but it's just going to take a hit. There's people that are going to just have cognitive cognitive dissonance about this whole thing mm -hmm. and continue to have it because they're fans of Tory and they're always going to see this as, you know, something that's just like, you know, it's unfair. But when you look at the charges and if that's what he's been accused of and that's what he's been convicted of, then that's the term that it carries. I and think a lot of people... I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, it's, it's just... I think that a lot of people just... They didn't see the charges. Right. They do not know what mm -hmm. he's charged with. They keep saying he didn't shoot her. Mm -hmm. He didn't shoot her. Oh, she lied. She didn't get shot in the foot. Hey, guess what? She don't have to get hit at all, mm -hmm. and all those charges can still be true. Yeah. Nigga, you mm -hmm. could miss a nigga and shooting at him and get a attempted Bro, you murder. Could, you could aim. You could point a gun at somebody without the clip in it right. and, and get assault. And I agree that his antics afterwards. They don't know what assault means. They're getting really, assault. really didn't do him any favors. You know what I'm saying? That's like true. the the court looked at that and they were like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That shit gonna fuck my mood up. I ain't gonna lie. I'm on the fire right now for and I, unfortunate. I, I'm on the fire on, on Twitter right now. And all I said was, hey, Tory's a doof and deserves whatever he gets, but I'm not gonna say that act like his music wasn't fire. Cause I saw people saying, Oh, hey, y'all acting like he made all this amazing music, like y'all care. No, we love this music. But he still, after reading charges and everything, he did it and whatever they give him, I think he deserves.
I don't think he deserves. I don't 10 think years. he deserves. 10 hey, years I don't know the. If, if they said that's about ten years is a long time, carries, bro. Bro. It's a long time. When you start talking about <laughs> other motherfuckers that be yeah. raping people and they get eight years and shit like that, my nigga, ten years for this boy is excessive, in my opinion. I know niggas that killed somebody come home on a man a manslaughter charge in seven years. Mm. I know you can take somebody's life mm. and come home on a manslaughter charge yeah, in seven you know those, years. You know those charges are. Easy murders and stuff is different. Yeah, but well, not just. But that. I'm talking you about also, niggas that got convicted convi of yeah, manslaughter. You took somebody's life. They are no longer here, and niggas that do seven, eight years and come home. The most. That's what I'm saying. Flip that's crazy, what man. I'm saying. Mm -mm. The fact that you it, you reject a plea, you take it to trial, and your antics, you're you spitting in the court's face in the court. Like, all right, my nigga, we got you. They spent a lot of money on this too. So, yeah, you made us spend all this money. Cool. They cool. gonna they gonna hit you harder. Like, look. Cool. Cool. Only reason why I thought Don't it would have been put less. A mic by you. Only reason mic. why yeah, I thought you. the charges would have been less. He can't, but he want a pod. Was it here? Jump out him. <laughs> I thought the charges would have been less in hearing what the judge was saying. Like yesterday, the judge was saying things like he wasn't going to hold the fact that he was moving around as if he didn't do this against him. So when I heard that, I said, okay, maybe they're going to go a little bit lighter. But mm -hmm. well, even in the the letter Meg wrote, she basically said. She ain't got a remorse for him because that nigga. he ain't she taking. Did. You mm -hmm. got it. She did. Yeah. Yeah. She said she ain't got remorse because she said he basically ain't admit to nothing. So she did. Yo, this is a I, tricky I'm situation. Off the internet today. Oh God, I know they're going crazy. Yeah, I'm getting off. I here. know they're going crazy. They said told me Tory Lanez have been sentenced to ten years state prison. First comment I see, and she still got toes. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. A year for every time. No, more. go ahead. I didn't even say it. <laughs> Kept my face straight. She better. She better drop a slap. I, I can't wait to hit oh, next song. I'm gonna hear the music now. I ain't gonna lie. You, I think they they got a whole album of slaps and everything else waiting. They, but they're also like she's about to be man. in like a musical. They, like, they, so got it they all, might have her man. on some, where every I, feature I, on the brand, planet. Brand deals out that mm -hmm. ass partnerships. Mm -hmm. You that Netflix shit that was announced we didn't see nothing about. I think they've literally you know, been waiting. That stranger thing. She's gonna be in there. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think they've been waiting and just sitting on shit mm -hmm. and it's like okay they now that we can truck. go, we go. They better. Stranger they're gonna, thing. They better. Hey, once I seen her in She Hulk, I said she won. <laughs> it's over. Marvel was behind her. Yeah, they, they pulled Marvel's funding right after that. <laughs> 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 yeah, once hard, you got bro. she Hulk twerking, it's over. The part that's most disappointing about this, I don't want to get into legal rigmarole, role, whatever. For me, two young, wealthy people liked each other. That's the part that I can't get my brain over. This happened because we were so enthralled with each other that coming from my work and your work, you was at Kylie out, yo, come through. I'm leaving my work with my security to come over here. Them niggas liked each other. Mm -hmm. But they didn't have enough foundation to, to go through something like this. I mean, who would? Who would? But... When you when you like somebody and you go through some shit and you just feel like, all right, the strength of our relationship or what we talked about or I know you, you know us, we know each other deeper than what our emotions are showing so we could get through this. They were just robbed of that. And I think, who? I think corporate who started to play a part. I think the corporate yeah, sponsorships, yeah. I think the advertisers. That's what I was saying, by who? I think all of that shit was like, because remember they kept, at percent. one point, uh, they kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. I thought they was going to drop the charges at one point. But I think if they would have did that, then all of the corporate people would have been upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, there's a lot of money. It's a lot play, of though. money behind a her. A lot of money at play. She had more money behind her than him. But Correct. For sure. Yo, she was like, she on the cusp of being a, a mega star as a female black rapper. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she started being in movie after movie after movie. They could push her anywhere they want to push her. Bro, Beyonce is sending you gifts. You know what time it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think that she's on the cusp, man. Uh, Beyonce done sent some much, some gifts, too, now. <laughs> There's a few bum bitches that got House of Deleon boxes. And <laughs> 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 oh, my. Derry y'all, nigga. Oh, that, that, too. 
Deleon, Darion, <laughs> my nigga Leon. <laughs> oh man, this nigga yo. Ten, ten years is a lot. Ten That's a years, lot, man. That's a lot. Ten years. I would ask the judge where, where, <laughs> jail. <laughs> <laughs> or you mean like like a little halfway house, a little rehab, a little one of them nice j- jails to be in the movies with the iPad. Fam, they was asking for probation, no time. So from 13 years to his attorneys asking for probation and a rehab, they gave him 10. Well, remember the original was facing up to what, 20, 22? 22? Yeah. So we not getting our Tory project. That's what I'm sad about. He gonna drive something else. You. I'm sad. He pretty, he I'm pretty already, sure he, he got a gang got of stuff in the, in the cut. I need that alone at Prime Deluxe and Playboy too. I need those. Chicks tapes. Damn, Damn. chicks tapes, man. Chicks tapes seven. Six. Oh, Damn. fuck. You leave me with these bum-ass Meg songs. Yep. And the better artist lost today. <laughs> yeah. no. Yo, this nigga is tripping. <laughs> Why? The better artist did lose. This nigga here. Nobody won. Nobody. No, but one person <laughs> really didn't win. <laughs> Hey, I know we try to be uh, everyone. This is equally bad for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this one nigga that don't want to hear none of that shit from these podcasts. God damn, damn it, Iggy Azalea should have written more. <laughs> Yo, this is the worst. <laughs> I'm real sad about this shit. No, sure, I'm making jokes and shit, but I'm gonna go home and cry. Nah, this is this is bad. It's sad. I'm gonna go home and cry. I am. Don't y'all look sad with us. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you ain't sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave my ting alone. What? Yo, nigga, yo, hold up. <laughs> yo, don't come up here. Yeah. Y'all niggas got to say something. Hey, a message to you niggas that come up here. Stop coming up here. <laughs> nigga, Mel is a person y'all niggas can shoot at. Nigga, I'm straight hating, nigga. <laughs> Stop shooting at Mel, nigga. Leave my ting alone. You got your ting, nigga. <laughs> you, 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 ain't check, you ain't checking. Yo, oh, you ain't checking. Oh, you ain't checking. Oh, check hey, she ain't said stop. Um, yeah. 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 She ain't, said, she ain't say stop. I she can't. ain't said a word. Would she ever say stop? Oh, that's all right. Forget it. Easy. This guy, yo. <laughs> my poor Josh. My poor Josh. I got a headache. I mean, anyway, I got some gifts for y'all, too. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm watching the niggas' pockets. Yes, yeah, sir. Cur- courtesy watch. of uh, Big Chief, the family, man. Big Chief. Big yeah. Chief. Yeah, let me get some t shirts. Yo, t shirt, fire. Oh, no. Let me get one of them. That's mine. That sure it is fire. Let me see that. Let me see this. Oh, wait, I got a shirt. Oh, my God. Are you trying to make sure that my... Okay. I'm trying to steal... Give me... I don't know what this is, but some cigarette... Oh, a sativa. No, no, no. I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to tell on you. I don't smoke, but sativa, all right. These niggas done gave me a gun pouch. Where Park shit at? My boy, hey, I got right. your shit, all right. No, you see? Oh, You're looking out. You got the same shit. So let me see. I still no, want nigga, that nigga, t-shirt. Shit. Yeah, that t-shirt fire, yo. Let me get one of them, yo. Man, t-shirt is hot. I was watching outside. Pause. Oh shit! I got some shit. You got this shit with some wallet. I don't know what the fuck this is. This weed came in a wallet. Nah, I'm hating on this nigga. I'm hating on this nigga. I'm hating on these fly LA niggas. This some gas though. Man, stop talking to me, man. You try to talk about shit, man. I'm hating. This is some fly shit. You my man. Nigga, I love New York. Hey, yo, y'all niggas got the plug with the. You see the nigga got the I love New York shit on it, though? Yeah, y'all niggas got the plug with the action shit. Listen, man, I don't smoke. I don't smoke, but this is great. Hey, yo, Joe, this is pandering ass nigga. I don't smoke, but this is, great. Great. Hey, yo, smoke, but this is really love, awesome. Thanks. I, I love New York. I'm going to take this to somebody who can use it. Word. Not me. How do you open this? I'm going to let you know what they think, too. I'm going to let you know like what they say if it's, if it's good. Thank you all. AD, thank you. Yeah, it's Appreciate great. It. Thank you. Uh, out. All right. Oh, yeah. I, Fancy I, I, ass I, packaging. Give, give my shit. Give my shit. <laughs> oh, you big and not strong? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you couldn't, open, you couldn't get the thing open. You know what I mean? That oh, thing. Man. Cool. That shit is like fighting over food shit. Yeah, you Oh yeah, this is Yo, and that skinny nigga hate, man. Well, Fat I ain't, Wars. I ain't skinny, but season one, me and Flip, man, we going. Stop, leave me alone. Shout out to Pun, Pig Community World, Ace Boys, hold on, hold on, back wait, on wait, fucking Fit. Wait, hold on, let me. Orange is in the chat. How can she pull oh. shit out so easy? What, what type of freak Orange she got? I made it better for her. Yo, Mel, tell that nigga stop right now for me. <laughs> Yo, you LA niggas come here and get extra smooth yeah. with Mel. Tell him stop, Mel. Oh, man. God yeah. damn it. Yo, he's, uh, he's you, pulling were, out. You, you were shouting. Damn. Yo. Oh, Yo sorry. 
Pause. <laughs> Can, I want our guest to shout out all of his shows like he was trying to do. Say Get this shit off. I'm having fun, man. Fat Wars featuring Pun, Queens Flip coming. You know what I mean? Fig Community World. Don't like Community, back on Fig, Ladies Not Night, the- Ace Boys, The Apollo. We's here to stay. And Wait, y'all got really a Ladies Night nice show? That I was a real gunshot. I'm <laughs> 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 Trying to get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Wait, y'all got a ladies a ladies night show? We got a ladies night on Tuesday. Because that's the only thing they say about y'all niggas, that y'all ain't got bitches. No, we got the bitches. All right. And on Fridays, we have <laughs> Yam Cam. You would like Yam Cam. Yeah. I, 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 like yeah. the, I like the Yam I like Yam Cam already. We got, yeah. the, we got yeah. the shorts, you know what I'm saying? The, the ladies come, get usually the strippers and, you know, aspiring Dancers and they come and they want to dance for the camera and it's family friendly. I'm, t- I'm gonna tell you now, we also have a show coming with aspiring nightlife talent. Mm-hmm. I don't want me and you to get into some uh, what's the name China, <laughs> China Max. I don't want to get into none of that. Go squabble out back. So yeah. we do. Stop. I'm and watching and us, if we squabble, <laughs> stop watching I'm us, taping nigga. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it. A little quiet squad, but this is going yeah. out. This, got, this one's going to be a little quiet squad. We've been had it in the works, nigga. So don't come like you gave us the idea and shit like hey, it's that. It's all good. Oh, we, could all do, good. we could do a hybrid. We could do some crossover hybrid East Coast, shit West Coast. where our aspiring mm-hmm. people eventually go battle his aspiring talent. I thought you were mm-hmm. going to put the nightlife girls on the fat That's what I'm talking about. Fat oh. 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 I mean, some of, be, some none of, of my nightlife girls will be fat. Well, There's according to me. Nothing wrong with big girls, yo. Ice mm-hmm. might call them fat. I'm a I like fat. big girls. I don't like big girls. I love big girls. You and the, the tiny girls? Because, like, you a bigger guy. I mean, no, big niggas be like I'm 40. Oh, like, I mean, I don't discriminate. Oh, that's, that's Pan? What they call that? I don't know. What the fuck you <laughs> no, just no, said? No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put Here's no pants on. Don't put 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 no pants on.